Good evening. It's Sunday. You guys know the drill. It's top of the week for October 20th, 2021. A big lineup. And it is a big week, so I cannot wait to get this started. And uh, first and foremost, man, let's go ahead and get this roll call going. We'll go ahead and holler at the Team Nerd Herd moderator, and then we'll get into the herd chat. So without further ado, I'm going to go down to the bottom. What's going on, my brother Jeff? He's driven. Crack Yo, up. what's going on? Yo, is it working? All right. Oh, yeah. Myself. Yeah, yours is fine. Steve's the one. Yeah, not now. <laughs> so I, I, I'm a mess. I just got home like literally 10, 15 minutes ago. Oh. Family stuff. So, um, yeah, just got home and uh, I got a lot of extra food and a lot of desserts oh. that I didn't eat. So <laughs> that'll be Seriously. fun to look forward to. Yep. <laughs> I, I know where you're going with that. Hell yeah. Oh, um, yeah. I am ready to, to kick the, the, the week off um, and just hang out with the herd. And I'm just going to pass it off over to um, Caroline. Hello, everyone. I'm ready for Baltimore Con. I'm ready. It's almost here. Yeah. I feel it. It's almost here. It's my first con. I'm so excited. <laughs> Is this so, officially yeah. your first con? It's my first con, point blank, wow. ever. Nice. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. oh, so awesome. Oh, wow. First con, birthday weekend. Hella hype. Oh, go. There you go. Just wow. remember to breathe and just That's take not gonna a happen. moment. I'm absolutely going to pass out several times. <laughs> Mad people. I, I hope you have a good backpack. Uh, I've been thinking about getting a new one. I'm not going to lie. So I'm going to go a like good, look and see. Honestly, a good backpack is a key to a good con. A I, have, I have the one I've had since college and I don't have a fucked up back. So, eh. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Old Faithful right there. And, and, yeah, yeah. Old Faithful, she's not broke yet. Mm-hmm. And, get, right. and get rest here and there. So. Yeah. Well, and it's a, I'm driving up too. It's a few hours for me. So. No, I'm, I'm saying like while you're at the con. Oh, while I'm know. there? Eh, yeah. that's fine. I need like four hours. We're good. She, she's younger than us, Anthony. She'll be fine. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's also, <laughs> you know, no, she's like, it's also a smaller con. Like I was looking at it. It's not yeah. too big. It's, I think so it like ends around seven big. o'clock every day anyway. So it's not going to be too crazy, yeah. too wild. Okay. I know what okay. I'm going after. But yeah, uh, Rob, what's up with you? Yeah, I was just chilling, watching the Dodgers Braves game. Uh, the Cowboys <laughs> almost gave me a heart attack today. But uh, <laughs> what's the score? What's the score? Uh, I think they won 34 27. No, 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 the Dodgers score. Oh, Dodgers? Uh, 2 2. Right. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, besides all that, it was a good day. Uh, I actually had some donuts today. And uh, that's pretty rare for me nowadays. Uh, so, I had a donut. Yeah, dude. You gotta I, let's know now. I had a blueberry donut. Mm. All right. And a Classic. pink sprinkles donut. Hey, there the you cake donut for blueberry. What was that? The cake donut for the blueberry. I believe so. Uh, uh, the 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 bread was really fluffy, nice and really thick. Uh, yeah, mm-hmm. wrong, but uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it. yeah. I, I dig it, man. It was it was it was heaven. It was orgasmic for sure. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. You, I if, I, if you know me, I haven't really eaten sugar for the last six yeah. months. So when I, I have a donut. <clears throat> It's a it's, it's a big celebration. Moment. It's a treat. Yeah. Yeah. It's a yeah. party. Listen, listen, listen. It's, it's a, diabetic, I need right? to be alone for a minute. Yeah, leave me alone for five I'm minutes. I'm diabetic. Like, I buy myself a donut after all my doctor's office visits because there's a donut shop right next to it. It's Krispy Kreme. <laughs> There it is, right there. <laughs> yeah, I, sorry, Anthony. None of us are basic bitches. Actually, yeah, I can tell my wife, hold up, I'm having a conversation with this donut, so just give me a minute and let me eat my donut. There's a moment, <laughs> always. You pull into the parking spot, you just got to sit there. Yeah. I'll be present in yeah. five minutes. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah, you know, you gotta, you gotta watch that sugar. So, we got when we get those moments, we appreciate them. So, um, yeah. Yeah. All right, let's move back up. Who's who, who's Anthony's next? I believe Anthony. Yeah, Anthony. Oh, yeah. What's up, yeah. Anthony? Anthony, uh, I'm, man. I'm doing all right. Uh, busy weekend, you know. I uh, had a couple family members visit, you know, so just doing some shopping, you know, just the usual stuff. You know, got a chance to help out, you know, Alonzo this week. They gave him a break. So. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, Just I'm re- sure Alonzo took quite advantage of it, so, didn't you? 
Hey. You get a whole okay. Mac in Alonzo? Well, you know. We, we can yeah. talk doing it here and there, you know, because I have, <laughs> I have no problem with doing it, you know, so. Yeah, but man. It, it, was, it, was, it was good, you know. I mean, I have my own way, but it's still the same thing. It comes out the same way, you know, so. I'm sure it was good for Alonzo, too. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I'm glad that, you know, Anthony's been in my shoes and can feel the pain of yeah, doing pain. all this. Trying to and, like, and people, like people really appreciates the amount of effort that goes picks? into it. Where are your picks? <laughs> oh Lord <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, why don't we just officially go ahead and break the news right now? I just want to tell uh Anthony that we are welcoming him to the new addition to the Team Nerd Herd podcast, y'all. So uh Congrats, you like sir. a thank you. Congratulations, Round man. Thank you. Oh yeah! So you, you are you are the next Alonzo man with these top picks of the week. <laughs> yeah, get I mean, used you, to it. Get so used to it, Anthony. You guys could be tax champions. You know, you know? Yeah, you know we, we can, we, I'll, I'll work with them. It's fine. You know, I, okay. I don't want to do it every week. <laughs> <laughs> you won't have Alonzo to. Will try to get you to. <laughs> <laughs> it would but be no, nice. I, I don't mind helping. I don't mind helping. You know, you know, so. it's it's like you know, you you're you're like an intern, right? And <laughs> just got <laughs> in, right? So it's I like try oh, to save here. you, oh, Anthony. Oh, except to except save that you. I'm it's I'm over. an intern with skills. You know, so. that's true. Hey, like I, I so I'm your unpaid <laughs> intern is what you're saying. Yeah. So uh, should we just call you? It's Monica? like you know the the movie Robert De Niro, well, the intern with Robert De Niro. That yeah. that's that's me. You know so. <laughs> that that was a great movie, by the way. Yes, it was. Yeah. Yes. And, and, and that's why he dropped it on you. And Athelie. Mm. Yeah. So <laughs> and, uh, on that note, Alonzo. <laughs> oh man, Alonzo. Yeah, I'm just here just to just to you know be part of the uh, whole welcoming Anthony to uh, Team Nerd Herd. I'm gonna be uh, finishing up or watching the Dodger game. Hopefully, they're they're gonna win. You know they're down a game. It's, it's game two, two to two, like uh, Big Rob said. But um, it's it's great to to have Anthony on the squad. Um, and and again, like Carolyn, as always, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. You and Sparks, you know, make this show a lot better. And you guys are always welcome. You guys are honorary members yep. of Team Nerd Herd, and we definitely appreciate you guys. Fun. Oh, for uh, sure, my God, is. it's 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 great I'm also having you on Batman, the show. So oh, you know. Yeah. That's right. Oh, That's right. God, yeah. She got That's it. right. All right. So I'm going to pass it on to Mr. <laughs> um, Baltimore Comic Con. I'm, I'm having nah, to be packed the, yet. That's not, that's not uh, JR. I'm the typical guy, though. We, we wait till the last fucking minute. That's true. Do all of our laundry. Everything. I've got a so lot of stuff in my I head. I still got to laundry. I still got to pack. You just need to pack. I still haven't yeah, written exactly. a list of like who I need to go see and when I need to go see and what panels sure. I'm gonna go see. I'm gonna fly by the seat of my pants, sir. Well, that, that's oh, nice. It, it's Scorpio it's a season, small enough baby. con. That's right. It's a small enough con. You can plan all that pretty quick. Mm. I know basically where I'm gonna go, so I'm not worried too much about that. There's two I, people I have to hit, and they're like square corner to each other. Like there, right there's there, two right there. people like, I have perfect. to hit is Garth Ennis and uh, Gene Haw. Which I'm getting smart from Gene Haw. Uh, oh, yeah, brother. But I do have to say uh, to my friend uh, Donkey <laughs> out there, uh, what happened to your fucking donkeys today to the ra- oh. by the Raiders? Somebody got that. their ass kicked badly. Damn. I, I saw that. No, dude, no, no, it wasn't pretty. Yeah. Also, by, also, by the way, the Chargers got their ass handed to them, too. But yeah, that's that nice, too. Thanks, Big Rob. Yeah, you know, <laughs> reminding me. <laughs> hey, we're only half a game behind you guys now. Yeah. Yes, sir. Um, Did the Patriots win? Who cares? No. Uh, <laughs> no. I don't care. I'm just I'm concerned. Right. My friend has a Matt Jones rookie no. card that's worth like three thousand dollars. He might oh, go oh, up. Oh, wait, that's Matt my Shaw? only concern. Matt Jones. Jones. Oh, Matt Jones. Oh, uh, Matt we, Shaw, almost, we almost like... we almost broke him in half today, but he's still alive. Yeah. Okay. But anyways, I'm I'm looking to a fun week. Uh, I fly out in a, about two days. So yeah, it'll be nice. Get the yeah. hell out of California for a week. Hell yeah, brother! Super envious Enjoy. of both you and, and, yeah. uh, and at least yeah, the yeah. Dodgers did the one good thing they need to do. They the knocked Giants. the Giants out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the most important thing. That's well, now they got to beat the Braves, baby. That's Mando, right? Yep. Yes, please. But now I'll pass it over to uh, <laughs> Mr. Steve, longest name in the fucking world, internet person. <laughs> How most, are you doing, hip hops and whatever? 
You know, I'm doing great, baby. I'm doing great. It was Sunday. Got some books to read, some family time, and uh, back to work tomorrow. So, damn. All right. Without further ado, let's go ahead and give shout outs to our Team Nerd Herd moderators. What is going on to brother number one, brother Rudy, the band name namer extraordinaire? You got something wrong. You know something white's always going to happen when brother number two is around. And brother number three, D anime, et cetera, D anime, et cetera, senpai. And then we got to give shout outs to our resident DJs, the beat makers of the beat makers, DJ Abomination and Plain Clothes D, Darian up in the mix. Oh, Lonzo just dropped dipped. his thumb, dropped off like yep. late. And then we're going to go ahead and jump in right now and hit the herd chat. <laughs> Damn, didn't even say good evening. What an asshole. He got that JR rubbed up against him. What's I, going on? I don't, know. I, don't, I don't rub against him. Okay, okay. I don't care how he looks like Jasmine. <laughs> What's going on, Inja? The beheader Binja up in the mix. You got my man, D anime, etc. What's going on, Senpai? With a box. What's in the box? You know, let's go ahead and scroll right down. Let's see. I see Brother Rudy right there. Bam. What's going on, Brother Rudy? Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us on this Sunday, the Lord's Day, as they say. All right, let's go hey, ahead. Yeah, we got Rage and Cajun comics. <clears throat> What's going on? My brother, JD, if you guys missed the replay with uh, Missing Link, man, you got to check it out. My boy had some gems up in that. Yo, you got a bleeding star, man, a bleeding star from another universe and beyond. Uh -huh. What's cracking? Welcome, welcome. All right, let's go ahead. And I think we got some new comics up, new comments up in here. I know Moonlit is up in here. What's going on, Moonlit? What's going on, Michelle? If you guys missed the replay, she was on Three Men in a Basement, her and Amy. It was late. That was, night. That was great. That was so awesome, y'all. So awesome. Dark Raven, 50. Uh, you know, JR's already hounded on you, man. You got my you got my brother, Glenn, 2K12, <laughs> or Hermano. What's going on, my brother? Good to see you from the other side of the poem. And you got yeah, CRG, CRG, man. CRG is up in the mix. Yeah, doing double duty. Yeah, double duty. Oh, we got Eric the Phoenix, man. We got my brother Eric the Phoenix. What's going on? Blood Hermano. All right, let's see. I'm just kind of working my way back up, guys. My bad, my bad. And then I'm working my way back down. Like a true mono me. All right, we got Masterpiece making Tim Stacy. I know, right? What's cracking, y'all? What's cracking? Masterpiece making Tim Stacy. Man, if you guys have not subbed up to my man Tim Stacy's page, go in and check it out, man. He's been having some raffles. You guys have checked out his portfolio. My girl Michelle highlighted him on Friday show over at Three Men in a Basement. So much, much love to Tim Stacy, man. All right. She's also doing a 3,000 subs giveaway with him, too. That, that's it, on man. Instagram. She, she yeah. laid it down. She laid it down. Yeah. And, and he's also doing commission for me at the moment. Oh, I'm shit. so oh, damn excited. Nice. I know him and I got to talk him and I got to talk. I got a logo coming up. Is he going to draw you as Wong from uh, Doctor Strange? No, bitch. Because it would just yeah. be the same picture. He said, no, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you said it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I can All laugh right. at myself. <laughs> I mean, if you really if you really can't, man, then yeah. What, what, what do you got, right? Yeah, exactly. All right, man. With that being said, I think we are all caught up to the herd chat. If you guys are coming in, we will highlight you guys and uh, kind of be interactive with us. Let us know what you guys think about the top picks or what you guys are picking up. Without further ado, who is ready to get some top picks up in this? I think Jeff hits it off to bat, right? Yes. All right. <laughs> I'm I keep going the wrong freaking one. This is fun. It's all it good, fun. bro. I'm not laughing at you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I lied. <laughs> Dang. It's okay. All right. Damn. Yeah. All right. We're going to start it off with uh, Doctor Strange, The Death of Doctor Strange, number two, uh, by Jed McKay. Uh, Kara Andrews and Joe Jusco did these uh, covers here. Um, this, look, I know we talk about like the death of every character is just a BS thing and another, you know, sales mover. <laughs> And it's just something that to bump up the, the sales, right? <laughs> but but in this issue, it seems like they might be introducing some characters that we've never seen before in the world of Strange. So I mean, some some once Doctor Strange is gone, 
you know, all dimensions are no, no longer, we're not, no longer protected from other dimensions. So there might be some dimensions that we might never have heard of um, crossing over now. And so this could be a first appearance of a couple of different, you know, characters. And that's why I think it's a, a good pick of the week. Um, we have a couple more covers, I believe. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah, yes. I'll say it was four. Bam. Yeah. Love so we one. got the uh, Venomized yeah. uh, Doctor Strange over there on the left by R.B. Silva. Nice. And then we've got the one in 25 with uh, Mordo uh, sitting, you know, sitting over uh, Doctor Strange's dead body by uh, Tim Panosian. Dan Panosian, sorry. Bam. Can we give a shout out to Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Uzumaki? What's cracking, brother? Jeff, let me ask you something. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I haven't researched this, but I was told that this miniseries takes place outside of the the standard Marvel 616. And you that know? might be true, but it also could, you know how it goes. If it right. happens in one universe, it could happen in our universe. Yeah, exactly. I thought, I thought that like if it was a what if type of deal, it would say what if like what? Uh, Spider-Man, uh, the Spider-Man Shadow did. Yeah, well, I mean, it's uh, it doesn't My say what if on it. For yeah, that is that Strange Academy has a uh, Death of Doctor Strange Strange Academy tie-in. Yeah. So yeah, that would also mean that, that then is also not in that universe. Okay. That's the only caveat. Yeah, that's why I wasn't sure about that, but okay. So we're saying- about- also, also mm-hmm. like in the past when they did Marvel Zombies, that wasn't a what if storyline. They just did a different universe. Mm-hmm. Right. It might be it might be true because uh, the Doctor Strange run, the last one I was reading, Amber was not in continuity. Oh, okay. So, so are we saying Strange Academy is not in a continuity as well? No, well, they, they have a title for that though, right? Yeah, they no, do. because it, they're saying there's a crossover really with the Doctor Death of Doctor the, Strange. The tie-in yeah. might not be, but the oh. the regular run is in continuity. Yeah, okay. it's like incorporated into what's going on in the series. I, okay. and I know that they also have one shots. Okay. Yeah, they do. You know, so I wasn't sure about it, but I figured you guys may know better. We'll see. We'll find okay. out. All right. And then this is my pick of the my cover of the week. It is a uh, open order, I believe, for King Spawn, yeah. and uh, by Bjorn Brenz. And uh, this is just a really creepy cover. Um, mm-hmm. You've got. Him serving candy to a bunch of kids who are dressed like Wonder Woman, Batman, and Captain America. <laughs> and if you actually look closely to the windows, it says, you scream, I scream, we all scream for ice cream. Yeah, I was going to say, this is ice cream, man. man. <clears throat> yeah, so it's like it's kind of like a really cool Halloween cover as well. Um, I mean, just the art looks great. Yeah. 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 It looks yeah. like it's one of those movies. Yeah, man. If you want... Bjorn Berenz has done some awesome covers for a spawn. I mean, he's just brought the heat, you know, between him, uh, Matina, and um, not Pacheco. I forgot who the regular artist was, but between. Or, Berme- or Mayhew? No, no, no. Capullo. No, not Bermejo. No. Capullo? Or. Um... Oh, I may have to. I may have to look. But between the three of them, they have just. Every month brought some great, great covers. I buy every cover of every spawn. Yeah, I mean, it's issue, so it's, it's oh, really I'm great. Sorry. Negative. Yeah, that's a lot of runs, dude. I had to cut it yeah. out. I was like, yeah. I'm out, yeah. Yeah, they're, brother. They're, they're three dollars a piece, so it's like buying two comic books. True, true. Yeah. Sorry. For some reason, my thing's jumping. No worries. It's <laughs> oh. fucking possessed. Right. You're just ready to get the hell it, out of here to it, call it, it, <laughs> Yeah, yeah he, he's, like, he's Baltimore Baltimore. out of mind. It's con week. Let's go. Yeah. You know how you are when it comes when San Diego Comic Con coming up. You're just like, I don't want, like, I got a day of work tomorrow. I'm just like, why the fuck do I do that to myself? <laughs> why why am I going money? to work for a day? Yes. Dude, uh, you'll be happier when you're done, brother. You'll yeah. be happier when you're done. I do it every yeah. year. Yeah, I know. All right. Well, those are my picks. Mm, cool. Okay. All right, my turn. It's uh, Star Wars Adventures number 11. And I'll be honest, I'm not reading much floppies nowadays. I haven't really read too much of the floppies. Uh, I have this particular run. I just picked it for the cover. Uh, this cover is, I think, is dope. Uh, I don't see too much uh, in space battle through the cockpit kind of viewpoint. It reminds me of the TIE Fighter game mm-hmm. kind of view. 
I I don't ever I don't think I ever seen a cover like this. If, if it if it has happened in the past, it happened a long time ago. So for me, this was a standout cover, and that's really my pick. Why I picked this book, uh, the the little creature. I'm getting the one the the little Java Palace creature uh, little right. image there, but uh, it's cool. But the, the I just think the Copic view is very unique and definitely yeah. worth pickup for any hardcore Star Wars fan, in my opinion. So, uh, and I'm sorry, the artist is Francesco uh, Francavilla on yes. this particular cover. Well, and these ones are going to get harder and harder to get to since their IDW is done now, or mm -hmm. almost yeah. done. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's the only reason I buy it. It's sometimes for the cover art or the spec value. Uh, I probably haven't read since five or six, I think. But, but yeah. uh, one thing that I did notice is um, the, the giant the, pickle. The stories, the stories <laughs> are two part. So, pickle Rick. So yeah, there's the covers. Mm -hmm. The main covers that they're, they're connecting, you know, like eleven and twelve will connect nine and yeah, 12. yeah, I think, was, I think it was nine and ten connect. Or, <laughs> yeah, they've been doing connecting covers, and there's yeah. definitely multiple stories in each issue. Uh, so they always give you multiple covers for that. And did, there's, oh, sorry, I was gonna say, did Forge ever get a hold of you? By the way, Rob, the uh, guy, no, did not a uh, guy Forge there he is right there. Hey, guy, brother, get a hold of guy. Him. go Cowboys. You got to DM me, bro, because we got a prize for you. You won something. So, uh, Ooh, guy, uh, no, no, he didn't. That's going to me. DM me. Hurry up, guy. Hurry up, DM. That's probably where my shirt's going, too. DM me your full, <laughs> na full name and your address because uh, if one of the tickets are priced to you, man. So, Hell sorry. Yeah. Sorry for derailing. No, don't worry. No, good, 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 good call. And also, also there's a one if you the next next yeah, the next, uh, slide. So next slide, sir. It's also the, there's a one in ten for the Ooh. same cover. Oh yeah. Nice. I have to admit nice. I like this one better than you the like, color. Yeah. Sure. You more like details, it. man. Yeah. Most people like to sketch more. Uh, that's, that's a more common uh, thing with this particular run. The sketch are pretty popular. Yes. The only thing I would do different, I put I would still put the red and the green in for the lasers. I oh, agree. Yeah. yeah, actually, yeah, that yeah. would be really cool. Color color splash. Splash. That'd be a nice yeah. touch. I could see, I could see people liking this one more. But for me, for more, usually I like to sketch more. But for this particular cover, I kind of enjoy the color more. I just enjoy the colors on that. Yeah. And I also, like I said, I'm not really picking an actual like a reading pick of the week. I've been picking covers of the week for this week, and I actually have another cover of the week as well here. Yeah. And it's uh, Terry Dotson's. I, I love the That's way so how this blends into the slide. Yes, mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's so dope. I'm a big uh, oh, I love God, Halloween. No. Negative it's right there. Yeah. It's Hall gonna get fucked up. So, no, because they don't ship properly, and so it's a black book, and so it's gonna get. Uh oh, yeah, those sides yeah, are gonna get color spine the, And then if it's a, if I've it's heard a break, they're supposed to do a new. They're the gonna like, breaks. Yeah, they said they were gonna fix their shipping immediately, and they didn't do anything last week. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I heard it's gonna be going to effect like in two weeks. I heard. <laughs> I heard they're full of shit, but whatever. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I picked Fantastic Four. This is, what issue is this? This is issue. Sorry, me. Couple of notes. Seven. Very Thirty-seven. Very Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven from the. And I'm a big Halloween guy. I love Halloween. I just love. Yeah, uh, this Halloween cool. vibe to this. So it's a great cover. Yeah, but I, I love it. the fact that. You see the invisible woman skeleton and, and yeah, fire. human torch. His the, head is on fire with a pumpkin. I mean that that's pretty cool. Yeah, and the <laughs> thing that a creepy look like about to eat you or something. Yeah, and uh, it's just the whole vibe. That the jack o' lanterns are holy, and I wonder who's the individual that's answering the door. I'm yeah. not I'm not reading this run, so. But it's a, so yeah, that's my that's my other cover cover pick of the week. Basically, yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> Yeah, let's move it on. So uh, I've got the. It looks like a. I don't know if it's a standalone or a follow up to Basket Full of Heads that uh, Steve and I did a while ago. We <laughs> read by Joe Hill. This is a refrigerator full of heads. Oh, yeah. Um, it's by a different writer, Rio Urez. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But uh, it looks like that mm -hmm. axe. Basically, at the end of the story, the axe that you see on the side of the refrigerator Ooh. got thrown into the ocean. And that's why this girl ends up finding it. The axe has a thirst for blood. And kind Yo. of... 
Huh? Like barbaric. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And basically, whenever you cut someone's head off with it, the head stays alive while the body dies, so they can still keep talking, and all fun ensues from it. So I don't know how many issues it's going to be, but I enjoyed the first series. Mm-hmm. I think it could be a, a good little twist. I'm kind of sad to see it's not Joe Hill continuing it. Mm-hmm. But it should be pretty interesting. It's going to take place on the same mm-hmm. island. It takes place like in the 70s. I believe it was like 76 or 77, wasn't it, mm-hmm. uh, Steve? Yes, I do believe so, dude. When you sent this in the group chat, I was like, oh, JR, you, you done yeah. spoke to my heart. <laughs> so... Um, <laughs> If you never read the first one, you can go back and watch our review of it we did. Um, but basically, I don't know when this is taking place. If it's taking place shortly after or a couple of years later. But it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. And I was a pleasant surprise to see that it's coming back out. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I couldn't understand what the second cover had to do with. Oh, there's a shark. That, it's that's because it. she's getting the axe. It's badass. That's all that matters, man. Because they they left the axe in the in the water. Okay. Like they, they basically under the water and there's yeah. danger. Sure. Uh, yeah. Badass bad shark oh, on the cover always sells, man. Basically, they're driving on a bridge or driving, <laughs> and she kind of like chucked off the side of the bridge. Yeah, that was so. what last happened. So <laughs> it's gonna so, be dope. Yeah, it should be a fun read. And it's black label, so they'll be cussing and killing and stuff. No, no, for me. And blood. And no and that, Batman. By the no way, Batman, the, no Batman. That way. By the way, the Rick of Murakami sounds like that name a name on a straight up like X Men or something, man. That's like uh, Yeah, she does. She sounds like she could be like armor or whatever. No, oh, Ray's second, third girlfriend in Japan or something. Like but yeah, that. for sure. She's yeah. not to be played with, yeah. <laughs> Rick of Murakami. <laughs> but on to the next one. We have Anthony. CRG, hit it, brother. All right. Well, my my pick of the week was uh, King Spawn number three, uh, written by Sean Lewis. With uh, the covers were drawn by Jonathan Glapian and uh, Todd McFarlane. Um, I really like uh, the first and well, in the following cover that you're gonna see. Um, I thought the Todd McFarlane cover is not. Typical McFarlane, you know. I almost thought that that was a Scotty Young type cover, you know. It's dumb. Um, Almost, it is dumb because it's completely completely unlike him, and I think it's great. Yeah, I'd agree, man. It's fresh. It does zoom zoom cover, man. It's awesome. You know, but uh, I mean, as far as the story goes, um, King Kate is back. He's driving Spawn completely nuts. You know, um, the last story I think he. Uh, there was a cut some kids that were trying to. Uh, no, there was two killers that were gonna shoot a bunch of kids. Spawn prevented them and killed them, but those wound up being teens as well. So King Cade won in the end, no matter what. That's you know, so sense. that uh, you know, I'm interested to see what Spawn is gonna do to go to try and stop King Cade from killing kids regardless or using him to kill kids oh yeah man i agree so you said there's another slide right anthony yes man there you go right there all right so uh the first one was done by the uh the the artist who is doing the interiors of uh, javier fernandez copy um, what's up brother just spoke about the the second one already so i won't get into it but uh, I, my favorite is the Javier Fernandez one. So far, he's done three covers for King Spawn, and I love every single one of them. I mean, there's just an edginess um, and uh, I guess an extra layer of darkness that he's brought um, to Spawn. You know, a little, little detail Chef. that is just so, so far slightly a cut above everyone else's. The other covers are great. Don't get me wrong, but I think this is just... A, just mm-hmm. a tad bit better. Yeah, it's slick, man. I I enjoy, I enjoy the covers. For me, they're cover buys. I I need to eventually get to reading them, but man, they've been putting out some fire for sure. For the two ninety nine that you spend, the covers that they've had, 
are top notch. They're some of the best covers you're gonna see on the shelf. Yeah. You know, and then the quality of the the covers, the quality of the the paper that they use, again, it's beyond the two ninety nine price. Mm -hmm. For sure. Problem is those things you just sell. It's so you know, like fast. DC, Marvel, Dynamite. You know, gotta get your shit together. <laughs> Yeah, for sure. Their paper, their paper is light as feather. Marvel, look, I don't give a shit. Yeah, it's like single ply and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, I don't give a shit. Not we're, like, we're like Marvel know. for life, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't help the penguin and diamond. So uh, mm -hmm. we're 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 nine point eights during these times are going to be a premium. Damn, it's fucking it's horrible. Yep. It's also, it's paper it's shortage fine, going on. It's all fine. Yeah, yeah, we'll get through it. We'll get through it. Yeah, there's another universe that's making it possible that we have all our things, guys. So, Don't tweet. I, I, I hope it. Sorry, go ahead. Looking forward to seeing what McFarland and company are still trying to put together with their universe. So, but we can go on to the next slide. Ooh. So yeah, Very nice. cover of the week. Yeah, um, normally I do. I I tend to pick a Marvel or a DC cover um but this one uh i love i like declan shalvey's covers that he's drawn yep. better than some of the uh the interior work that's been done on uh time before time uh, even though he's i think mainly the writer not the artist but yeah he's the writer uh -huh. but I this, love this series this cover is so oh no the, the series is great yeah it also really options. really is it's like i want to stop it at number six because i'm trying to cut I down and it's, kind of, <laughs> and it's like i really don't want to stop buying this one because yeah, I mean, the storyline is so good you there's know, so the much last, the end of the last yeah. issue threw me for a loop you know um but i that's not why i'm why i picked this one but i mean but this cover is is really great i mean it's it's a little freaky you know yeah. i mean the deterioration but, of that skull it's just hell blind. yeah man yeah it looks sick man good but yeah no he, he did yeah. an awesome job with this i feel you if it was black and white i gotta wonder if he'd be even better Ooh. oh or, or or glow in the dark oh very Ooh. nice dude if they did yeah. that anthony get on the horn with them <laughs> Blue, you know what I mean? Blue in the dark. Blue in the dark. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, that would be. It's yeah. also very interesting that this is like the first not yellow cover, too. And yeah, it's yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. second arc, first it's issue. Blue. Wonder if they change the theme colors. Oh, yeah. Possibly. They're going to flip it on us, right? I like oh. that they're continuing it with, I mean, because I've seen up to number eight so far. So, yeah. Yeah. I love oh, it. Yeah. I adore this series. Okay. Yes. Nicholas Ultra. It's me. Eat the rich. Cannibals, man. It's pretty it's pretty much self-explanatory. <laughs> yeah. It's Late cannibals. Night. Rich people who pay you and then they eat you. Yeah. Yum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Almost reminds me of another series that we may talk about <laughs> later on. Oh Lord Jesus. Um, so anyway. I yeah I don't I don't want to spoil anything for anybody who hasn't caught up to it but it's three issues now it is phenomenal it is every issue it goes exactly where I want it to go and like just it's perfect it's so good it's very dark yes it is I agree it. yes it I makes agree. my heart so happy the end right Caroline on issue two Yo. Oh, oh. I was like oh yeah. you, oh you fuck girl and I was like you better yeah. you better mind your p's and q's yep. Yep. You either dying or you get married to this man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Welcome and I, and I'm interested to Take find it. out the history behind this thing, man. Mm -hmm. I want to know how this started, how long it's been going on. Yeah. Oh, it's probably been when going do, on for When a while. do the people in the families find out? Yeah, but, for sure. Yeah. I remember when I first I bought issue one and I, I read it, I was like, wow, this is kind of creepy. I didn't and want then, to and then my boy, thing. my boy Heroes Reborn, um, he convinced me to buy issue two, and now I want to buy issue three. So <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Gorvidal, the, what's the covers, going on? There's always like really solid covers for this. Yeah, yeah. Bam. 
Okay. Yeah. So then those are the next two. Oh, covers. yeah. Those incentives, man. Yeah. Yep. The Kevin Tong incentive. One in 10. Uh, one in 15, I think. That just creepy with the body parts hanging in the background. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That girl's a face is funny. There's a little slaughterhouse going on. Yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> she got a little one. Christina Ricci look going on. Should surprise absolutely no one. It's my girl. She's yeah. back. She's beautiful. She's perfect. She's gorgeous. <laughs> She's amazing. We will take no comments or criticisms at this time. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and, end of story. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next slide, I guess. <laughs> wow. Wow. I got, I got nothing to say. I spoken. Yeah, I got nothing to say. We As will they like, they just come you out of the window like this. As the Egyptians in a famous movie once said, so let it be written, so let it be done. <laughs> okay, set have off, they, set off. Nothing about the cover, but have they determined what the connection between those two characters is? The oh the gardener and Ivy. I mean she's it's the gardener and Ivy. She kind of just helping her out, taking care of her, trying to bring her back to her other self so that they can combine and then become the one true Ivy. Oh, okay. It's a mess. Yeah, I was gonna, I'm wow. not liking the story, but she's pretty and she's perfect and aesthetically pleasing. And so we're happy she's yeah. back and we're no, not I have nothing, criticizing I have anything. Yeah. I'm not criticizing Ivy at all. I was just curious. Lord yeah, Chuck, yeah. Yeah. It's asking. okay. It's, you can tell Tynan's rushing to get out. Did because yeah, I saw was, in the last issue Lex, I saw yeah, two yeah. poison ivies. What's up, brother? Mm -hmm. Good to see right. Because there's there's poison ivy and then there's queen ivy. Right. Because so, the queen what? ivy is the little leftover clipping that was like hanging on in the Ivy Harley miniseries. So it's like been growing and festering and like chilling. All right. I've I've gotta go and because I was oh, completely say, lost. You yeah, know? yeah. Didn't she look like uh Station jo missing link Monet, uh, Janelle Monet. Is that yeah, her name? Gardner, 100%. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I thought I was the only one. <laughs> no, I'm totally okay with that casting. What's up, Chuck? I think she's great. Yo, let's uh greet a big old station to my man, Missing Link staff. Man, if you guys Ooh. missed today's show at noon over at Raging Cajun's channel, go ahead and check it out, man. My boy was showing gems, man. I love that show, man. It was awesome. And uh, shout out to uh, my man Dave Collects. Yeah, yeah. And Lord Chuck's over at the BLCC. They had their show yesterday at 4 p.m. And then they were also on Spy Ticks last night with the Bad Batch crew. So doing the sorry, guys. Duty. They were doing that damn dang, girl. <laughs> okay. Kind of yeah. like your girl, Poison Ivy. <laughs> She's yeah. killing it. I love this. Caroline, do I have permission to go to the next, uh, next slide? <laughs> there you go. That's my last one. <laughs> all right yo so we got i i did a a drop in the mic on gun honey issue one and just kind of ran right through it but this is a uh, writer charles arda and then you got kendrick Lim on this cover right here this gorgeous ass cover of her just in all her glory joanna tan god bless you god bless your soul <laughs> and uh that beat cover of robert mcginnis of uh, caroline please don't kill me I'm just no, I'm admiring just the, I'm, 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 the gun in the bikini bottom. I'm like, I know how much a gun weighs, and I know how sturdy a bikini bottom is, and that would never. Oh, exactly. it's so right. realistic. It's so practical. Yeah. Science, right? <laughs> science. Yeah. It's science, science though, but like my brain is just like racked. I'm like, that's well, cool. comic I'm science. Comic, comic books, science. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, a short synopsis would be <laughs> Joanna Tan. She is a Billy bad girl, man. She uh, is. Is sly suave and she is a gun trader man she can uh place a gun in a place where you need it in case you need to off somebody but uh that's how she gets caught man and she's with the government right now they've proposed to her because she is the best um that they have out there they don't even have her yet so they're kind of working in between that but at the very end of this first issue she is left um uh, and you'll probably see it in uh, cover c but she is left in that same position just wondering what the hell's going on but they got some excellent covers man i think a uh, hard yeah. case crime these books are awesome i was also reading mickey woodcock earlier um and i also like the pace of this book i mean it was super fast it, right woodcock girl yeah it sold real well so well especially the adam hughes cover 
Mm-hmm. That was fire, mm-hmm. man. Not, I do not want to talk about that damn cover. Man, it's getting a reprint too. It's coming a third. Yeah. Hey, yo, Paul A. Was hey, cracking up, also, brother. Carolyn, to go to your point too. She'd be shooting into her leg too, or if it misfired, yeah, like, it's just, I'm it, just you like, wouldn't. That that. That's hot. I'm more curious about the cattle. Burnt with that gun in her fucking hip. Oh, yeah, but... she'd get burnt. She'd probably shoot it's herself. Her panties would fall off. Sexy like, this is just a whole mess. Female with a gun. That's I mean, it. I'm just looking at it like, like... the bra is always the better option. Sure, sure. Okay, <laughs> maybe, maybe she should have had the gun in her hand. Maybe that could have been well, it. Well, or on the counter behind her. Busy. Right she there, yeah. On the panel. But it's, it's just very poorly placed for, you know, what she what? needs to do with it. Oh, why is yeah. Garfield on the, in the cover? Uh, no, but, that, uh, that's not Garfield. That's Heathcliff. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, who, <laughs> oh, draw, yeah. who draws the cover on the right? Robert McGinnis. Why does he draw yeah. the same chick on every different book? Damn, bro. That's why don't you go in and send him a letter? It. Is, it, is that like his, uh, his wife or something? Then? It's like but, always drawing the same I mean, chick. I was kind of personally disappointed with that second cover. Artistically, it's great, but as a I mean, if, if if he was drawing it as a portrait, it's great. But for a comic book, eh. that rifle almost seems like second. Like, yeah, oh, I had to put a, really to put a gun, gun on this gun. Yeah. Yeah. Let's talk about how awful these gun owners are with their handling of their weapons. Yeah, yeah, she's all across this line, and you'll see what happens. I bet she got the gun on the back of her. I mean, it's like more it's about the cat fine. sitting on her on her shoulder than about anything else. I mean, she's hot, bro. Joanna Tan, don't fuck around. She is yeah. legit. I'm enjoying the story, so I can't wait for issue two. They should have brought Adam Hughes for another cover. Well, dude, I would have been down. I take I'm it there's another that. cover, Steve. Oh yeah, brother, wow. let's hit it. There's the cover. There's uh, that that C cover was left for issue one. So there's your cliffhanger there, and then you got your cl- cosplay, you know, as always. And mm-hmm. good God, man, you know, you don't I'm be behind Filipino. that. I'm yeah, Filipino, man. man. <laughs> That's right, man. I'm like, I'm like, almost a guy, you know, my bootay. Where's the lumpia, you know? eh? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, mother love, man. Gotta love her, man. But, you, but, but you won't dare not tell her anything because she'll just look at her, dude. She's like ready to kill. She'll kill you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. She's taking that, uh, dare I say it, resting bitch face to the next level, right? She's oh, yeah. also the Scorpio. Oh yeah, yeah, she is right. I, you can tell, man. She's like, "F you, I'll shoot you." But uh, yeah, man. So the the my cover pick of the week, man, for uh, this next one is, bam, you got Ma issue two, Ooh. and then this yeah, to me looks was, like a creepy man. Yeah, it looks yeah. like a movie homage, man. And I, I, I honestly thought it was, it was a mistake. That, that I thought I thought I had to look <laughs> twice to make sure you picked the same cover, the right cover, man. Oh, for sure, man, for sure. When you told me the other one was like not till next week, I'm gonna have to look back because they had to get off. Dude, I was so pissed, man. When the, I, I I didn't want to tell you guys that you know it's next week or even Jeff's was November 10th. You know, Damn. yeah. They, they need to get it together when they put it up. But, but this will haunt. Yeah. This will haunt every freaking nightmare of your. I mean, Hell imagine yeah, if, imagine if she was right behind you. I mean, she or she, but with those talons just ready to squish the shit out of your head. The teeth for me. Yeah, look at those teeth, man. Yeah, and that it's, and beady ass eyes. It's a dope cover, but that little mark on her lip is straight. Looks like a cold sore. I'm sorry, but oh, damn, <laughs> oh big I'm Rob, you took it there. <laughs> that little shit up on her lip. Look yeah, it's Rob, like dude. it's just immediately. <laughs> I the- thought. I mean, the fact that she's like green doesn't bother you with the yeah, cold solar too, bothers yeah. you. Yeah, she needs some vitamin D, man. <laughs> not the D <laughs> behind, not the D behind her, sword. but there's a cold sword. Oh, Fuck man. the monster. It's the cold sword that points out to me. <laughs> you know you want to be monster. For yeah. I mean, I'm looking at. I don't know. It's funny, her teeth are white, but everything else is messed up. <laughs> yeah, and she has that, that, that face of smelling shit, like someone stepped in a fresh pile of shit. She's like, ooh, yeah, yeah. Go, go ahead and take yourself in the backyard and go ahead and get the hose to that. Go ahead and hose off, honey. Yeah. Who, who farted? Yeah, uh, yeah. So that was clearly what they were going for. So, guys, I got an idea for a horror homage. It's October. Let's make her look like she's smelling shit. 
Is she like supposed and, to and be give like her the herpes. wicked witch, but without the hat? <laughs> oh yeah, man. Is that I'm what's going it. on? I don't know, man. She just yeah, yeah she looks like she has a cowboy hat, right? Yeah, yeah she's like, like, like she's part of Harry Potter. Hat. Like a like, like a fifty gallon cowboy <laughs> she's wearing hat. Wearing a sorting hat. Yeah, with that Harry Potter face looking at the talk, like where's she going? <laughs> I think she might be a Slytherin type of girl. What do you think? Yeah, I think you're judging yeah, someone probably. based upon their appearance. Oh, sorry for judging. You? She's obviously a Hufflepuff. Okay, okay. I'm going with your answer. <laughs> going with your answer, Caroline. She knows better. You think she'd be a Hufflepuff? No, I don't know. It's just what I am, so it came to mind first. Oh, okay. Uh, Bam. And as they say, so it is written. <laughs> the C, the nine point eight for that would be a bitch though too. That one oh, hell yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. But it's pray not horrible, it. so it should be fine. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, next, next. Hit him with it, brother. Yeah, Captain, Captain obvious, obvious pick of the week. All right, let me see if I can get this right this time. <laughs> Change my mind, bro. All right, uh, you know, so this is the first issue of gunslinger spawn okay uh you know it's supposedly it's going to be popular it's the intro to a new universe it is a third spawn title now mm-hmm. third okay so do we really need another one with the same type of uh mo you know i mean yes he has a gun you know he knows he's how to too- use it he knows how to use it but he's doing the same thing why do you need, you know, a king spawn, a gunslinger spawn? He also has a horsey. A sh- doesn't matter. <laughs> well, spawn I'm just simply pointing out the difference. Why? Why? Why would you? <laughs> the thing why, support this bullshit. Let him why finish. Why you need another one that tells essentially the same story? Can I step in? Well, they sure. should never done. They should never done King Spawn because Gun, Gunslinger Spawn is actually the more popular spawn there is out there. Right. They should have done with this first King Spawn. I know. I never understood it from the beginning. Why did went with that? It's, this should have well, been. I, I, actually, I thought that King Spawn was going to be a different spawn, but no, King Spawn yeah. is Spawn. So you got Spawn in two issues, King and now you have Gunslinger Spawn. And my question is, is it essentially the same spawn? Are they all their same universe no. or the different universes? Same, same universe, universe, different spawns. Uh, okay. Yeah, because you can tell this guy's got a slimmer build, and yeah. just by the way they draw yeah. drew him, it seems he's almost like a Jack Sparrow. He kind of that's like just the artist, and he has a hat. No, no, that that could be the artist. <laughs> yeah, and he has a hat. You're right. No. But this uh, guy's a lot more popular than any. So, of those Anthony, you've sure. read the comic, obviously, right? No, uh, uh, okay. this one. Not no. King. Happened, not Gunslinger. But any that had Gunslinger had, because I know he's on the covers. Right. No, I, had, I really haven't read. Or... I haven't read any of the ones with Gunslinger Spawn. I mean, because we don't I, know. I have we... one. No, I, I know. I know it's a it's a different Spawn. Yeah. Well, no, no, cool. but I mean, we don't know. We don't even know anything. Sure. About it. I mean, it's utility though. Right. It's, I, I mean, it could have been, he's ready know. for war. I think you know, maybe and there's a this would have made more sense than King Spawn. He's more badass. For sure. I remember, what I read so far about this character in the other Spawn books, I remember he was more badass and almost like a bullet type. You know what this looks to me is just more of a cash grab. I mean, Todd McFarlane yeah, yeah. oh, has his hands yeah. everywhere, man. And and, yeah. and I mean, with, with it, but just it just in time yeah, for like yeah, new yeah. DC Universe toys, man. It's just but, to me, it's like overkill. Yeah. Uh, and, I mean, and it's Todd he... McFarlane, so you, I mean, it's just... well, I think you should say you're right you're kidding, because. Because now they can do accessories. Because now you can buy a horse to go with your spawn figures. Right. Or <laughs> save your pennies. I've had so okay, many people this that. last week alone coming in asking me about spawn figures. I'm like, no, we don't yeah. do that. Yeah, we don't do that. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you want? Yeah. Oh, we don't play that. Y'all making my point for me. No. I mean, we're okay. adding. We're adding. I, I, you know? I'm gonna be devil's no, advocate here. Effort. I'll be devil's advocate. Okay. I'm Spawn's devil's advocate. Been- Spawn's been around for a long time. Yes. His universe has never expanded in a whole time. True. So to give him two but books in, this, in the universe once? extra, I get that. I get that. And I think maybe Gunslinger should have came out first. And King Spawn, maybe Spawn should have turned into a King Spawn uh, No, he did. Title. No, no, the title yeah. should have been. I just think that's going to be the death of the Yes. But the. The, to me, 
it's it's not asking a lot to have you know two extra titles in his universe because I mean no. how many titles are in yeah. Marvel and DC? So so <laughs> one my, thing I... my other thing is you you have King Spawn and Gunslinger Spawn coming out the same week. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but I mean they they, they, they should have staggered that. Yes. They have tried to expand the Spawn universe before because you had Sam and Twitch. Yeah. Yeah. They also but, had yeah. Angela miniseries. They had a bunch of miniseries with like Viking Spawn and all these other spawns yeah. back yeah. They, they spawn both failed. Spawn. <laughs> so the odds are the people that are spawn fans are gonna pick this up. Yeah, it'll sell. Are yeah. are the normal people oh, like yeah, us sure. that don't give a shit about spawn gonna pick it up? No. No. I mean, there, there's no point unless it's like the first time Gunslinger actually is in a comic. I know he's been on several covers, but I don't know yeah. if he's ever actually been in the issue. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah yes. Yeah, his first appearance at Spawn. Like two uh, two eighty five, something like that. Two forty yeah. something actually. I think more than two oh, okay. Yeah. But I mean, other than that, no one's gonna really care because there's no. Right. He hasn't been around. He, he hasn't been around for a while until Spawn Universe. Yeah. So yeah, he's he's popular and this will sell and hey man. Broski. Uh, happy Broker for the spawn fans. West. What's, up, What's up, brother? What's up, Mike, how you doing, man? Oh, Joker. Uh, I think I have a book for you too, man. Oh, oh goodness. Cool. Hit him with that, bro. Hit him with hey, that big DM, bro. DM me your name and address, and you also won you won the Virgin set uh back on Thursday. Oh, uh, I, oh I can, nice. I can give you that information. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh, okay. You, yeah, but just let Joker know, man. Hey, you won, so. Yeah, man. So, congrats, Joker. Is, is Todd writing and drawing Gunslinger also? Uh, that I don't know. You're because that could be very important. If he's writing and drawing writing? it, yeah. if he's at least writing it, there he's got a reason behind it other than just being a cash grab. Right. He's He's got something planned down the road. Oh, no, he definitely does. But, but the whole thing is no one, no one gives a shit. It's Spawn. Who cares? Yeah, Give us the movie. He's, he's co-writing it. Already reading it. He's co-writing it. Is there any cats going to be in it? <laughs> like, Get out of here. <laughs> what, what hey, hey, hey. Of... Don't mess with our cats. <laughs> Mango, where are you? <laughs> and yet, <laughs> there's mind. still, remember, oh there's my still goodness. another Spawn coming out. Or two, I believe. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Okay. No, no, essentially, not, essentially not on with, this show. with Spawn Universe, there are cats. it was to introduce you to the, the titles see. that were coming out. King Spawn was one. Gunslinger Spawn is number two. Medieval Spawn is number three. Jesus. She Spawn is number four. And you oh, still have the regular Spawn title. So there's going to be five Spawn titles coming out a month. Yeah. It's just called Jesus. a spawn. It's oh a yeah, spawn. and it's supposed yeah, to be the spawn okay. universe. Well, Todd wants you to buy spawn and fuck everybody else. <laughs> I mean, you know, if it sells, good for it. Yeah. I mean, we'll on see the flip about side, it. He waited over three hundred issues to yep. attempt something like this. Yeah. Okay, well, it's still three. It's still two ninety nine an issue. I mean, the first issue is five ninety nine, but the second one after that is two ninety nine. Let's put yeah. it this way. Would you rather have this or the Spawn movie? I want the Spawn movie. I'd rather it's have a, a Spawn, Spawn movie. movie. It's a lot cheaper. Look at the Jackson Roy Kirk. You just hit it on the head right yeah. there. Wow. Yeah, That's yeah, how enthusiastic, man, people are about it. But this exactly. is our, our little pool is not Spawn fans. You know what I'm saying? There is yeah. a, a no, core group there's... of Spawn fans. Oh, yeah, there's people that love it. it. Oh, they right. buy the toys, they buy the books, they want to support anything that Tom McFarlane does. So. We've got people that buy every single cover. One hundred percent. Todd is a, a, a smart businessman. He's not just doing oh, yeah. shit for right. shits and giggles. He's he's planning to make money on this shit. So I, I yeah. But personally everything. speaking, will I buy the first issue? Yes. Will I buy issue two? No. <laughs> I'm yeah. not planning on buying a pass issue one. You know. I'll Let's save go. the we'll paper it, brother. by one at all. Because you know there pro there may be like a new villain. You know that's introduced. You know in that one. I mean, if there's one in issue two, then oh well, I'll maybe wait we'll, and see if maybe we'll, we'll get the gun, but, maybe we'll get the gun violator. 
<laughs> what kind of name is going to come out, dude? That's what I'm curious. Well, no, because about. I mean, the Violator is actually a character. Yeah, yeah no, for yes, sure. Gun Violator, though. Just... I want Overkill. Oh, dude, that would be dope. I'd be fucking down just for you know one or two. But more. I mean, if I had to really choose, I if I could, I wouldn't buy it. I really wouldn't. Well, I'm not buying this shit. Maybe keep that uh, shit. Me either, man. <laughs> okay, ready Past. for the next one. Comics, Comics Talk Weekly, Phil. What's cracking, brother? Hello. That's another we'll see at Baltimore. Yes. Baltimore ready. <laughs> With the snacks, man. Well, I know my man it. Phil's going to have snacks. Baltimore bust. Oh, yeah. I remember yeah. like weeds. Yes, they are. Yes, they are, Jose. No, <laughs> have you seen these uh, at 7-Eleven? What? What are those? Tamarin what? Tam- Tamarin Tamoy. Gummy bears. Oh Ooh, my god. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's that's coming with me. Damn, I went into lollipops. <laughs> this like I was at the mall, went into lollipops, went to go get yeah, some fucking damn you. gummy bears, and they got nothing. I was so devastated. Oh no. I was no. like, where the damn gummy, gummy bears, bears are this is what, no, Let me ask you, let me ask you guys something. Not to quickly view off topic here. What is can what is candy supposed to do? What what's the purpose of candy? Make you feel better. Make me happy. Make this dinner yeah, seem to my brain okay. fire like a fucking how is it? Patch. How is it? To, how is candy supposed to taste? Good. Sweet. Good. Delicious. Sweet. Like like Good. Dave Chappelle said. Satisfied. So, so someone had the bright idea at at Skittles <laughs> to create zombie Skittles. Oh yeah, the the one nasty one. Yeah, I know. I don't fuck with that. Yeah. Well, oh, it's just like is... they did, <laughs> but they did the same thing with the. Uh, <laughs> The Jelly Harry Potter Baby. Jelly Bellies. Yeah, yeah, that's it's always ridiculous. Nice. No, get the fuck out so of here with it. My, my daughter had it. It tastes. <laughs> once you bite into that thing, it tastes like crap. Uh, yeah. Why would What's you the... make something like that? They're because they you. did the same thing with Jelly Bellies for Harry Potter. I mean, uh, 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 Beatrice. Me- Beatrice Bellies, or something they called them. Or, it's a or bunch bunch bots. Or, yeah, something. I think it's pretty bots. But, Birdie but, bots, something, but, but I mean, oh, like, that's good. like that it tastes like vomit right? or yeah. whatever. Yeah. There's earwax, there's vomit, there's um. But those God. are any. But damn, why would you, you can have those? any kind of God. flavor? Glutton this one for punishment, is, man. You know, yeah, that, it's messed up. Like, well, we're gonna, you could buy a Skittles pack, and so you could toss it out. I'm gonna just buy regular ass so. Skittles because I like yes. the flavors. You know, I mean, I know really? what I'm getting. Which is like I. Like I've had Harlan jelly bellies that taste uh, that are hot peppers. <laughs> like they have one that's I'm like a habanero never pepper. Russian roulette in my life. So this is fun. Well, it's like st- it's like stink bomb. People buy stink bombs for, 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 for fun. You know, it's just you know, well, the lack of people. It's thrilling, be. just annoying. Or fart spray. But, kind of like anyway, yeah, but if you're looking, people. if you're looking for those gummy bears, they sell Ooh. at least in California. They sell them at Seven Eleven. Oh. They've got those, and the chili mango ones are pretty good. I might have to make a trip right after the show. Damn. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. So, okay. You got me planning my candy haul for bringing yeah, it in the, the car with me. <laughs> the comic covers. Oh, yeah, man. That that mm-hmm. gun, honey. That gun, and Franklin. Uh, Franklin. You Frankie's good? cover, man. I want to get yeah. that. Yeah, I'm trying to. Okay. I know words. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, he, he just saw the cover and he just like, oh, no, 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 no. That was the first uh, yeah. one. I was about to jump out of my damn chair right now. Fuck, I'm gonna have to buy the Department of Truth ACDC cover. Where? Uh, right there. Right oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah. yeah. That's just Highway to Hell. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's that, sick, yeah. that literally, I got the email for that Who's like that? two days ago. It's got to be Bird City. Maybe, yeah. maybe. Yeah, it was. What about what about that Rose Bash man, that Wonder Woman? Mm. That was a New York Comic oh. Con uh, cover. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm I mean, a fan of the uh, Gotham so, City Sirens homage. As was that's as right. Was obviously, the the Miles Morales in the upper right hand corner. Me. Yeah, that's uh, Rafael Garcia. Uh, Garcetti, Garcetti. Right? Yeah. I don't now, know if we that one. Dark homage to the. I, I think that <laughs> one sold <laughs> out. Supposedly, that was like one of the first two to sell out at New York Comic Con. Which one, the Spider Man one? Yes. Me. Well, I know that other Department of Truth one sold out super fast too from Comic Mint. Well, shit, there was only 300 of them. Jesus. The... Yeah, and for the Spider Man one, there was only a thousand. Jeez. And I will thank my LCS Live World Collectibles. Thank you. I emailed them and they did me the favor of picking one up for me. 
Damn. You know, so, because I knew Damn. they were going to go. You lucky ass. Yeah. Quick, quick question. I, Am I mom the only one that stopped buying Star Exclusives? I haven't bought any in a very long I, time. I, I don't, don't buy budget. very many. Yeah, I don't buy as many as I, I did at the beginning. I was rallying against like Department of Truth in general variants, and then that um, the Maria Levitt cover came out, and I was like, shit, it's really pretty. I mean, I bought a few... I have a few Department of Truth covers, but Kamikaze, what's going on, brother? I I stopped buying them. I mean, at I issue thirteen, I'm not. It just depends if I really, 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 really like it, and if it's a uh-huh. um, like yeah. an album homage. Yeah. Album yeah. homages are really dope. That's, the one I want to get it. is the the Notorious B.I.G. one. Yes, that's oh, yeah, yeah. That, that I gotta get. Did you see the Tupac one? I missed out on. I I got you. I got the Tupac one. Yeah, that Tupac one from a BWS, I think it was or BS. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, Big Time Collectibles, right? No, it's not Big Time Collectibles. Oh, it was a different company. Uh, KRS. No, it was a small company. The I'll get the name of it. Uh, BNS Comics. Oh, okay. Is what it was called. It sold out already. It's for number fourteen, but it was a. A sketch cover, black and white, of um, All Eyes on Me cover. Ooh. And then they took out the, um, they put the X's on his eyes, and the yeah. chain, instead of having um, Death uh, Death Row, has BNS collectibles. Oh. It's pretty dope. But I need to find that, uh, that Department of Truth one. Um, but that, I like that Heathens yeah. cover. I have no idea what Heathens is about. Yeah, that's, so that covers uh, pretty cool. That's Aftershock Comics. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I put it up there because it's what's up, I mean, Primo? I it was cool looking, despite the fact that it's also. I mean, I feel the heat just from looking at it. So wait, is it the second one? That's the second the one next one. to Venom. Oh, oh yeah, sorry, yeah, mm-hmm. second from the from the left. Top. Yeah. Yeah. The first one is actually drawn by uh, the Venom. Is that Stan Sakai? Yeah. Mm. Oh, nice. You saw Yu Jibu? Yes. Yep. Yeah, that one is available. I think still. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I looked on a uh, Bird City. It's not Bird City for the Department of Truth either. I gotta figure out where that one is. Yeah, please uh, share that link oh, in our chat. Hold on. What? I'll t- I'll tell you when you find it. Okay, yeah. No idea. Uh, who did the Venom one, the fourth one? The mm. Hulk hom- homage? Yeah, yeah. That's Kirkham. Mm. That was kind of cool. I mean, it's not bad. It's not a bad homage. Yeah. Is that sweet paprika for the one after that? Um, that the one at, that? No, that's uh, Vampirella. Oh, it's Vampirella. Okay. I think there's one homage that I would want to buy, guys, and I'm gonna if, if I could share this right now. Oh, right. um, sorry, Jr. The 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 Department of Truth that's uh, big time collectibles. Okay. And the artist okay. is uh, Miko Siyan. Let me let me share a screen real fast to see if I can get it. And yeah. Uh, and the Inferno one with uh, what's her name, the White Queen, Emma Frost. That's unknown. Mm-hmm. That's the uh, David Nakayama. Yeah. yeah. This is the one I want. Oh shit! Look at her. Oh my god! Oh, I want that one, bro. Oh, that's why he. That's why he asked for your email. So the, oh, the, the Tupac was a PNS. Yeah. That's fucking bro. I'll never look at this. Co- I'm getting this cover uh, this Wednesday, and I don't even want it. I'm going to send it, I'm gonna send it to Cooch for That's hilarious. hilarious. Here's what you do, right? You find stickers, and you put them on the outside of the bag. Oh, I want to I I see shit. if they show this on pressable defects. They got it, dude. Please. Dude, it's it, fucking <laughs> hilarious, dude. She still has a cold sore. Right. <laughs> uh, Big Time Collectibles also has a Purple Rain homage for uh, mm. Department of Truth. Oh, yeah? 
No, a okay. motorcycle. Yeah, okay. That was hilarious. Uh, that's, that's that's that yeah, huh? just, just remember to yeah. share those links with us. Yeah. I will. Give me a sec. To get this back out. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, because you kicked add to the stream. There we go. Don't ever say that to a girl. But then Dark Hawk, of course, has the <laughs> the Spider-Man Spider Spider one. one. Yeah. <laughs> telling you, you're getting tired of that pose. I mean, I know that we have to do a pose. Too, but, yeah, man. But, you know, enough space. Enough of that shit, man. Yeah. There you go. Man. There you go, yeah. Jeff. I mean, at least in the York Comic Con, uh, Miles Morales is Spider Man still, but you know. <laughs> anyway, next. Oh, those are great Thank covers. Oh, Damn Thank it. you. Okay, next. That wasn't easy. Oh, oh, they yeah. still have the Queen one? Yeah, yeah. the Queen one oh. I'm going to pass on, though. Oh, Catch it up with the oh, her. You did, you did add that in there. Yes, I did. Oh. Yeah. Okay, guys. Okay. Yeah. So let, let, let's let's get this round table going. Who We're gonna watch spoil the fuck out of this. Sorry. Squid Games, y'all. Who I haven't Squid watched Game? it, but I also don't know if I'm going to. So feel free. Okay. It's a great show. It is. Yeah. Uh, it's a little gruesome, but it it is it is a great show. Squeamish, not like like I like Game of Thrones type horror. I don't like like. No, then you'll like this. Okay. You like is, this. This okay. is dope, though, man. I mean, yeah, let's get into the premise. Let's get in the premise. You got um, basically a, a band of people that are uh, horrible at money. They freaking gamblers. They're all from different walks of life. Yeah. Of, and uh, when we and let me let me just set the record straight. And what we mean by horrible with money, we don't mean that they owe like thousands of dollars. Some of them owe millions and even billions of dollars. Billions. Yes. How do you owe billions? But that's also remember, it's their money. I mean, no, I know, but yeah. still, it's billions. Yeah, they were, they were, dude, they were deep involved, yes. and they they're just digging themselves a hole furthest, you know. And dude, you you just get these group of people that are going in, uh, you know, they're they're looking to get money, they're looking to make it, and there is a lot of sides being picked. Uh, dude, it is gruesome. The first episode was sick. I, uh, I love it. It was funny, dude. I love the music that they used, right? <laughs> oh, right here, bam! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, give me the calling card, man. I know that that dude was giving him the freaking rocks, freaking slap of like, just licking his hand and just ah, tomatelo, and he just kept. I'm slapping surprised he didn't, him. he didn't bitch slap him at one point. Oh, oh yeah. man, dude, that guy was just taking. He was taking them slaps to the dome, and then he yes. finally won. I was like, "Dude, he I was mean, acting like yes. the, the, the the games yeah. that they that they that the games that they used look that was freaking uh epic, dude. Like the marbles, the marble episode. That one took it to yeah. the next oh. level, dude. I was like, "Oh shit, dude!" So so let's Is set up good before as Black you get Mirror that. was in yeah. season one. Yeah, before you get that far, yeah. Okay. So so let let's kind of set it up. Okay. Um, basically, you start out. All these people owe money. They're they're just the dredge of society. They're not horrible. Some of them are horrible people, but they're not necessarily all horrible people. Right. And they're basically, just people who made bad mistakes. Right. Basically, <laughs> if you give them a bunch of money, their life will be fixed. Hundred percent, Jose. And <laughs> they they decide to play this. They get offered to play a game where they can win a bunch of money, but they're not told. They're not told what the game is. Right. All they know is they go to this place, and they don't even know how they got there. They basically say, show up at this spot, they get in the car, they get knocked out, and then they get taken to this other place. Totally. And, and so once they get to the place, they're redressed. They've been numbered, literally have numbers on all of them. Right. The green uh, outfits. Right, the green outfits with one through 456. And there's a big board on the wall that says... Number of players, money in the bin, and they have a big piggy bank up in the air above them. It's literally a piggy bank mm -hmm. that mm. they have. And so whenever they, they go and play the first game, and they find out it's red light, green light. It's and, and it's a super easy. They're all children's games. They're all games everyone should know how to play. 100%. They go out They go out there and play it, and somebody is still moving after the red light. And all of a sudden, they get shot and killed. 
dude, whacked right in the head. Yeah. Got yeah. headshot. And so that's now, when reality sinks in, right. sinks in. Right. Now they're realizing, oh, if I fucking move during red light, it's dead. You, If you lose the game, you're dead. But what, okay. what I couldn't understand is the reaction directly afterwards. Well, oh, dude, they were going to panic, dude. I mean, you see somebody but, die right in front of you, man. they all chirped you out. You guys are running regardless. So, yeah, dude. But, but mind you, they have to also do this in a certain time limit. I think it was a yes. five-minute time limit. Yes, it was a five-minute time limit. To, yep. to get from one point to another point across the right. line. Right, you have to cross a, a, a line, you know, the, right. safe, the safe line. So after it's done... They go and they go back to this main meeting hall room where it's got a bunch of beds. Sam, I am. And, What's up, brother? And basically, the board shows the new number of people and shows um, a okay. bunch of money gets dropped into the piggy bank. And basically, they're the what it is is your your life is worth this much money. Mm-hmm. This is what you're playing for because they never knew what they were playing for, how much they were playing for. Right. And That's the whole thing is. They are told at that point, you keep playing the game, you can win this money. Right. And it's, they don't they don't know if it's last man standing. They don't know when the game stopped. They just get told that. Well, they're, they're told it's six games. Okay. They but, have to play six games, and whoever survives at the end of the six games, they win the money. Okay. Plain and simple. At this point, though, they also find out, they realize that, some are going always oh, like I have a kid at home. I don't want to do this. I don't want to die. Mm-hmm. So they're able to take a vote, and if a majority votes to end the game, go home, no harm, no foul. Money goes to the families of the people that have died. They're like okay, and it ends up they go home. Mm-hmm. Second issue, second episode, we find out where kind of all their backstories. But they right. decide to go back into the game because well, they they essentially find out that a lot of them are in such a bad spot. Right. It's mm-hmm. either they try to fix it, which they know that they're not going to be able to do, or possibly play for an obscene amount of money that can get them out of their their spot. So they figured that's the best way to go even if it means the possibility of dying. Mm-hmm. Correct. Yeah, they basically told what? them straight out that their lives are shit. And they're, they're, <laughs> they're like, basically like, hey man, this oh, is the best right. shot you have. To us. Yeah, they're like, yeah. You're, this is your best shot at making this kind of money, Yeah, but you gotta play by the rules. And basically tell them, like, you could go back to your lives of mundane living. And you got some of these folks were like, uh, you got like mobsters running after them, dude. Oh, like, hell you're, yeah. You're, your yeah. protagonist, your main character, man, was freaking beat to shit, dude. Almost got his little mouth cut. You know, like, he was just trying to run and gun, but he was right. not fast enough. <laughs> but so, they keep game putting these situations, and they keep going to these games. And I'm glossing over some, a lot of this stuff, because I want to leave some yeah. meat on the bone for people. Mm-hmm. But, like, there's one part where they tell them, okay, we need you to get in groups of ten. And they don't tell them why. They just say, you've got 10 minutes getting groups of 10. And so they do that, and it ends up being tug of war. Oh, and oh, and basically, they, this tug of war is probably like 5 to 10 stories high mm-hmm. that they're playing it on. And you're handcuffed uh, to the rope. Yeah, you're handcuffed to the rope. <laughs> and the rope is put through like a circle, like a hole mm-hmm. for where like it a is. Butcher's so, block. And yeah. basically it's got a guillotine on it. Well, so what happens is... You have the opening. Right. Well, I mean, it's open where the circle is. The right. guillotine no. drops down eventually. No, like There's six feet almost, I would say, between... Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. There's, yeah. yeah there's, a, there's a gap. They're way up high. There's a gap in between. Yep. So if you, if you lose, you fall off the you side. Fall. You, you did, died. and but you're that's what I was going to gonna bring up, Glenn. That's what exactly what yeah. I was going to bring we'll, up. We'll get know. to that. In that a, I haven't gotten to that point. That, that but one. what happens is you fall, and then the other side starts getting pulled down, also. So that's why they use the guillotine to cut the rope, and they all die. 
Yeah, dude, that was gruesome. But the reason they set that up is later on you have to team up again. And so, like, a husband and wife teamed up, thinking, oh, okay, we're going to be teams. If we su- go through this, we'll survive together. That was hard. They got pitted against each other. Oh! Uh, that so yeah, per- I've gotten, I've gotten sorry. halfway. So one person dies, the other person lives. Ouch. I was wondering if oh, that's going to happen. Yeah, dude, that's the Marvel episode right there, bro. Yep. And then there's a glass bridge game that's pretty Holy brutal. Too. Cow. No, dude, that was a that was a crazy episode too. Yeah, no, I don't want to hear any more after that. But no, that's yeah, fine. Yeah. I know that this is it's Damn, great so far. Yeah, you guys gotta watch it, check it out. Definitely do uh do yourself the favor, go on Netflix, check it out. You'll get sucked in by for episode one. Hundred percent. It'll make you go to episode two and you'll just be and in case you guys don't know, this is on Netflix and it is the number one show world wide on even in the United yeah, States. Shit popped off real hard. Yeah. I, I, I will say this so also, <laughs> and this is not a spoiler, I won't say any details. Oh dude, yeah. Dude, it is crazy. The, <laughs> the way the it does not play out the way you think it's gonna play out. That's all I'm gonna say. There's some it's not just cut and dry of oh we get one winner, we're done. That's it. There's so many layers to this. Yeah, it's so fucked okay. up on so many level levels that it makes it worth watching. Yeah, okay. like like the game of, of Squid Game is is fucked up. Yes. So it's a lot more psychologically fucked up than anything. It is. Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. Okay. All right. Are, are we all caught up with that? Uh, you guys? Have, yeah. I guess we got we got Jeff and uh, Big Rob wanted to come back. You can come back now, guys. Oh, we don't want Jeff to come back. So. <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> Jeff and Big Rob, we're done. It's in the private chat. Come on back in where the water's just fine. Jeff's just, you know, just chilling. Jeff's right? like, I'll fucking trust you guys. Yeah, fun. Like, Jeff's dude. over there eating the, his desserts and stuff, probably. Oh, dude. Oh, uh, so fucker. much dessert. Oh. So jealous. Yeah. yeah. All, all right, all right. The out from the so we'll go to the next one. <laughs> Let's hit it. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. He's not here. Yeah. Yo, uh, stay classy, San Diego. What if he hit like he's gonna be just putting on his Letterman's jacket or little uh, sports coat? And I'm back. <laughs> Getting into prep. Yeah, he's all. And let's go. There we go. Right there, my, my brother. Bad. My bad. Nah, you good. You good, okay. player. You good. Let's hit it. Getting yeah, I'm sorry. What I didn't want it. Oh, oh, oh. I tried. <laughs> I'll, I'll talk to him. I'll That's talk to him. And, 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 okay. It's just for some reason. When I switched it, uh huh. For some reason, <laughs> again, uh, no. <laughs> Here, let me do it this way. Switch me up to the top. Yep. That's what I'm doing. Bam. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yo, it's the weekend geek. So let's get. All right. So disaster was avoided. If you guys didn't know, um, the IATSE, which is the biggest union in Hollywood, um, mm-hmm. nearly went on strike, and that would have literally put every <coughs> single thing that was in production on hold. Technically, they have 37 minutes to accept or decline. Well, uh, I well, think, uh, um, I think they did um accept it 19 hours ago, I think, or oh, okay, is that the I think they did. Well, over well, the I, have a, I have a cousin who works <laughs> in um, he's a grip on the stuff and they were posting about how like they got the proposition for like hey here's what we'll give you and a lot of the stuff didn't change so a lot of people are still really upset about it wow yeah like i I heard it was avoided but we'll see um i hope it worked out because honestly they they honestly get it's the hardest job okay Um, if you think about it here um for the new york times just the the top uh the headline Hollywood's behind the scenes workers reached deal averting strike 12 hours back. ago. Yeah. Gucci. So um I mean it's it's really sad because they they work these long hours and then yes. because yeah. of the stars, they have a, a certain schedule for them to be there to shoot. Uh-huh. And if they don't fit it in within that schedule, they're they're you know, it's gonna go over budget, they gotta get them called back, and that's a whole nother issue, right? So they try to get it all done within that certain schedule and um, they'll push hours. They'll push people's eight hours sleep, you know, back. It's, it's really detrimental to people's health. Oh yeah. So 16 hour why. days are regular. Yeah. But the fact that they would, 
you know, shoot longer sometimes because, oh, we, we got to get this shot in. We only got two more hours with this person and, and they're not going to be back. Right. So they, they're going to push a shot. And that's what's going to happen. And, you know, these people work the longer hours. They, they actually get in crashes and die uh, after shoots. Yeah. Um, it happens more often than, than not. And uh, well, then then it's reported. And it's just really sad. And so it's really a, a bad thing for them. But now that they've agreed to it, we're going to, you know, Ma the Mandalorian season three is starting to shoot. Secret Invasion, Ms. Marvel still mm -hmm. um, in production. Uh, the the Marvels is starting to shoot. Moon Knight is already shooting. So, um, who, which one are you guys excited to see? Oh Ooh. man, oh, I want to go Moonlight. Oh yeah, Mando. My yeah, dude. Man, Mom, go, man. You good, man? I'm sorry, my bad. <laughs> just, just, I just want to put it out there. That was Steve that said that, not me. Don't don't get mad at me. <laughs> what happened? Because I said Moon Knight, I didn't even I, think about it, man. I just I, I got in know. trouble earlier already tonight because I called Anthony Monica and someone thought I was calling Caroline Monica. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm. I'm staying out of that one. All right. Yeah, call me Carol, me I don't care. When did you call me Monica? Don't when you're about talking about the interns? Oh. I was calling you Monica basically Monica Oh, I didn't even hear that. So uh, oh shit. Which one are you guys uh, most so which one uh, you guys excited, most excited to see? see? Yeah, start start with you already answer Steve, right? You gotta yeah, realize. yeah, I, I wanna tag team with Caroline, man. I agree. I didn't need, I Mando. totally missed my uh peripheral, so Mandalorian for sure. Yeah, yeah what about you, brother? Mando's the only one that I really care about out of that group. I mean, I'm I'm excited to see, you know, Moon Knight and everything like that. Right. Miss Marvel, not so much. Secret invasion for sure. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the same boat. Secret invasion, Moon yeah. Knight. The other two that I've can heard be that Marvel themselves are not happy with Shut the up, uh, JR. for Miss Marvel. What do you mean? Like they're with just not the, happy with how she ended up. Yeah, they're just not happy with the with how it ended up. Uh -oh. Mm, oh, too bad. They, they, yeah, it's like kind of y'all are a little bit there. screwed because she's about to be in a whole lot of shit. We're gonna move on before Jr. gets us canceled. <laughs> I didn't say shit. <laughs> Talking about I mean, a little girl. <laughs> I mean, to me, I just said too bad. I mean, in regards to like the the strike, the the actors, I think sometimes Love wield James. too much power. That's oh, right, absolutely. James. You know, because yeah. they they make this these these obscene money, and it's not really something that they earned. I mean, because you got the people behind the scenes that make them look good. You have the stunt doubles that make them look good. You know, and a lot of times it's more them than anything else. Well, and but yeah, cool, good act, for I mean, that you want to live this amazing life, better. but you shouldn't be detrimenting other people to get that exactly. lifestyle. Exactly. Like, yeah. People shouldn't be working 16 hour shifts so you can have mm -hmm. a week off so you can go on vacation between your two movies. Right. And that you make $50 million doing those two movies. I mean, it's ridiculous. Yep. Yeah. Hollywood magic takes a lot of people. <laughs> yep. A shit ton. Yep. A yeah, shit it does. And yet, yeah. it's the actors. I mean, yeah, the directors and the producers get credit also, yeah, but, the actors but... And the actresses are the ones that are in the limelight, you know. So. And a lot of them don't treat. No, they don't. The casting or the the crew very well. Nope. And they walk like their crap don't stink. And well, I mean, I'll shut up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We we will move on to the next uh, next news. Mando. <laughs> No, All right, no. so an end of an era is coming, supposedly, according to Tom Holland. He's already yeah, no. he's had an interview with Entertainment Weekly, and he basically said that they treated Spider-Man No Way Home as if it was the last time that they would actually shoot together. Um, and uh, he believes that they're going to take a break. And if he does come back, um, the whole tone of Spider-Man will change. And um, there's there's a different ways that I, I kind of look at this. Um, they're saying that the Sony deal is going to end. He's going to have one more um, MCU appearance after this movie, which will probably be Doctor Strange. Um, mm -hmm. And a lot of there are some people have been saying uh, that this will be the segue for him to go into the Sony universe permanently. And 
it sounds yeah. like to me that this is also his contract's going to be up after the Doctor Strange movie. So beyond that, I don't know if he has any more, you know, movies signed on with Sony, which I doubt. Um, so he might just say, I'm done. And they'll move on to maybe Miles. No. Or they'll move no. on to... No. Um, no. Okay. I think they mean end <laughs> of an era. Yeah, of, uh, he's not going to be in high school anymore. And they're right. going yeah. to college. And, like, I get that. that too. I also thought that maybe he might be pushed to the Sony universe and this is the end of an era where yeah. he's never, he's not going to be working with <laughs> these two actors here on the side over here with his mm. MJ and his, uh, I'm thinking it's more Ned just the Leeds. supporting cast is going to change. Yeah. I think it's going to change because he's going to go into a different universe. But See, I, do I, you I think that he's going to, sorry. I, I was just going to say, I mean, after seeing Venom spoilers, I mean, you, yep. that's now yeah. in the, no, no, in no. The they, they, they had enough time. Yeah. Right. I, so, I mean, I, why I would they do that? Be, so right. here's the thing that this is the to get him to get him back into his own universe to get Venom back into his own yes. universe. It'll pull it. Maybe Spider-Man has to sacrifice himself to take him over there. And yeah. and and that's how he you know pays homage to Spider-Man is putting on the symbol after that because he saved his life. Uh, it could be anything like that. It it could be, you know, just Sony wants him back. They want him to mess with, you know, the, the Morbius and, and the Craven. And they want to do the Sinister Six movie. They want to do the um, Spider-Woman, the Silk. They want to do all those, you know, connected movies. And they want him front and center. So I don't know how it's going to work out because there's no deal beyond this right now. I thought there was a deal with... Not for Spider-Man, but I thought Sony did a deal with Marvel for some of the shows to be on Disney. Yeah, yeah, that might be the case, but that doesn't mean it's no, I'm not, going I'm not, to be. I'm not Sony saying, doesn't have an outlet to put it on streaming, right? Right, they don't have an outlet for that. But what I'm saying is, I'm I'm thinking if you've got that already kind of established, and they're making money, they're not necessarily losing money by no. having Marvel work with it. So, Marvel only gets it, like five percent of the growth. Right. It it makes sense for them for so, on Sony's end of it to keep that working relationship going. They may be having him say this stuff because a they know first off that he he's got a bad or they've always said he has a bad habit of spilling the beans when he shouldn't. Right. So they may be using this as a kind of like, oh, we're just going to have him say that because we know the contract is coming up when they're going to try to hardball in the mm -hmm. contracts. I think he's hardballing the contract. I think that's what he's trying to work up to and maybe even trying to keep himself in the MCU. Because I, I think that's his... I think he definitely wants to stay in the MCU. Yes, he has. I think... I See, I thought that because Venom was pulled into the MCU, that essentially that's where they would start putting everybody because... Honestly, if he goes to the Sony universe, I think that's a mistake. Now, I don't, I don't mind that they they merge the universe. <clears throat> I think that would be okay. Yes, if they did that, um, that's Secret War ish, you know. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I just don't know with Sony not having a contract beyond this, and and Tom Holland not having a contract beyond his extra MCU appearance. It's just. Um, it's up in the air, right? You don't know what's going to happen after this. Uh, they could come to another agreement. Who knows, right? right. They can last minute. They, they already come time. to an agreement. Yeah. I mean, they could have, and they just did not have announced it yet. I think they're just changing the tone of the films. So that's it. I don't think nothing else. Yeah. Going on, but the yeah. And I hope so, uh, but people are saying that he's no longer going to be in the MCU. Uh, yeah. MCU be without Spider-Man. They're wrong. I mean, that's for I, now, but that, that could all change. And that could Dis change, yeah. And Disney just came out with a ride yeah, that's with Tom change. Holland in it. Exactly. Yeah. I, I don't think they're going to come out spend all that money to put a ride in there Status with his voice. Yeah. yeah. And then go, oh, well, we're not doing anything with them, so we got to yank that change of voice actor or whatever. Yeah. You know? Yeah. My, my hope is that they work out another deal <clears throat> and they just do another three movies at least. You know, and and you know, work on his college years because there's a lot 
very mature, very like great, you know, storylines. The Craven, uh, Last Hunt. You've got um, you've got the whole Venom, you know, versus Spider Man, the Carnage. Yeah. Uh, he's going to work for the, you know, the bugle. <laughs> so, right. I mean, there's all kinds of great stuff that will happen in his college years and on as he becomes an adult, right? And as, as Peter Parker, and then you can work his way into like Parker Industries. You know, he'll be the next Tony Stark. So it, it, they can work their way there if they just agree to it. It's just a matter of money and um, how Sony feels about it. Because Marvel can literally, they can survive without a Spider Man. Yeah, I mean, they made it how far they did without him. So. Yep, exactly. Yeah, but I, I, I personally think Spider Man just adds to it. Oh, I'm with you. You know, oh, I mean, I'm a Spider Man like, fan. I, I would prefer <laughs> to have Spider Man in the MCU than to see him go. That's I'm Spidey's favorite character. Too. I mean, I know that. Yes, yeah, Sp- Spider Man is like Batman. He has his own huge you know, cast of characters and villains and, and what have you, you know, but when you start messing with like Miles and, you know, wow. when, you know, and, the, and they're huge parts of the, you know, in the Marvel wow. universe and comics, you know, you want to see them interact with them. You want to see the possibility of Spider-Man interacting with the X-Men, you know, when they come out or the Fantastic Four when they get introduced. You know, no, I, I mean, it's you, you'll I'm take away you. from all that, you know. So I, I'm with you, but <clears throat> to Sony, they don't care about storyline. They, oh, they care, care about the money. Yeah, but yeah, so, yeah. So, but see, and they also yeah. believe that they'll probably have, you know, uh, an advantage over Marvel because they think, oh, well, he's established in the Marvel universe. You need him to stay in there. So it's probably a negotiating but, ploy. It, it it might be, but there's a thing. Right now, with the fact that we know that uh, Marvel is suing all the creators of their, their original characters, like Spider-Man right. stuff, mm-hmm. this is a bad time for Sony to really fuck with Marvel about that, because Marvel could go, yeah. oh, well, we're just not going to fight to keep the rights of Spider-Man, <laughs> and just say, fuck it, and let Sony, because they know at any time they can go back to Steve Ditko's estate and Stan Lee's estate. And go okay. We'll we'll work with you after our contract's been voided, theoretically. Right. right. Also, yeah. they did the same thing when when they won Fantastic Four. <sighs> they went okay. We're just going to stop putting out Fantastic Four books. When they wanted the X Men stuff, they started said they said no more mutants. They stopped letting any licensing material go out. Right. That was they, a that they was crypt- war with Fox. I get that. right. But I'm just yeah. saying, Sony's not going to win a war against. The mouse. No, no, the, I, I, and I believe that in the it, end, yeah, the they're not going to win. So, the only way Sony could win is if they teamed up with Apple, but they would lose the rights to Spider Man for that. So I don't, I think it's more, Sony doesn't have the choice here. It's, does Disney still want to keep making Spider Man movies? Is the better question. Well, I mean, they, they've had success with Venom already. Yeah, but Twice. was it a good was it a good movie? We'll as... put success in air no. quotes. Yeah, we'll put success as in financially successful. Well, like if you because like, here's what I've been telling everyone: go into know. the movie thinking it's a comedy, not a superhero movie, and you're gonna have a better time. Yeah, right. and it's but, more like a Mike Knight comedy. Yeah, I mean, there's even some though, bad jokes. I mean, I would want to. I I'm looking forward to seeing the third Spider-Man movie because I want to see. How it numbers wise, how it compares to the Venom Two movie because oh you know, no, it's Venom, getting Venom killed. One, Venom One versus either of the first two Spider Man Tom Holland movies, no comparison. I I, I I'm already going to predict that this is going to be the most successful Spider Man movie in the yeah. MCU. Oh, it's absolutely. going to be the most successful movie Sp- Spider Man right. movie ever. And, and it's now, just obviously why. Yeah. I mean, it's just obvious, right? Like, look at the amount of star power they're going to have in it. Of course. Yeah. And, and that's also and hitting that's you with the nostalgia, too. Yep. Exactly. Right. But you got to also wonder the other problem, though, is as many stars as they have, they have to juggle it right. Because there's oh, been yeah. other movies like Batman and Robin where they had a lot of star power 
And that was a horrible fucking movie. We're talking about Warner Brothers. We're talking about No, no, no. But but what I'm saying is nothing to worry about. I don't know. No, I I I agree. Feige Feige will have better control on it. Yes. But I'm just saying, you're still bringing Jamie Foxx as Electro, Electro, which was a horrible version of Electro. Yes. I mean, I love Jamie Foxx. I think he's fucking awesome. I loved him since back in the day. But, but again, that was horrible. That was a bad thing. Who, who produced that movie? It was Sony. That was I, Sony. I, I, again, I understand what you're yeah, saying. Sony does not I, make good Spider-Man movies. I, I get it. No, they do it's because the first two Spider-Man movies. But that's good. it. Okay. That's, but but that voids your comment. Yeah. yeah. That Sony doesn't make good Spider-Man movies. I I fucking hate Spider-Man. I think he's the worst character ever yeah. fucking made. But I think the second Spider-Man movie was a perfect movie. The mm. one with Doc Ock was a perfect Alpha version. Alpha was fantastic. The, it's sec- I, I the think... second movie is arguably the best Spider-Man movie by Spider-Man fans. I, but I think it's probably one of the best, arguably, best not... hero movie. Best... Yeah, I think it's better, better than most of the Batman movies out there. And I love Batman as a character. Oh, really? mm, not sure about that one. <laughs> I'm just saying. Fair Come enough. from a person that's a diehard hater right. of spider-man I mean, that's yeah, saying something i, I, I know it's, it's i made a guy. blanket statement <laughs> which was wrong and i'm, I'm sorry no problem you know, i'm just gonna call you on it just know that i mean because I mean, the first andrew garfield wasn't bad the second one was mediocre look I, I like it all the i'm not i'm never one, gonna complain the third all, spider-man right. movie for toby mcguire okay i was terrible Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was awful. That was really bad. That one yeah. and the second Andrew Garfield one, they were both bad movies. I yes. agree. I yes. mean, like horrific movies. You know, but the fact that you know Sony, so you know Sony, they 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 shoot themselves in the foot a lot of times. You know, no, they do. Yep. While Disney, D- Disney and Marvel, they got the ball rolling. Spider Man is doing great in the MCU. Sony's right. still making money. Why would you mess with a given, an, a possible, a sure thing? Why? You know, because you uh, want to say, oh, I want Spider-Man back so I can prove you wrong? Because that's essentially what, it's, what they're doing. Well, they, they want creative control is what it is. Well, I also believe yeah. it's, it's money because you, you think about it, for three movies, three movies straight, uh, Marvel is only taking about 5% profit they're not getting any more because sony doesn't want to give them anymore yeah. <clears throat> and then that's the thing so that's what we're saying marvel deserves more honestly yes they do it's their character but, for crying out loud no. okay so but anyway are we done uh, yeah we, we are done topic and, and if we could continue on this but no, 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 no 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 awesome. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off, cowboy boy. i love you rob you the man all right, the next one. All right, we got DC Fandom. Yesterday it was crazy. Um, unfortunately, there were some things that I didn't put in here. I forgot uh, Blue Beetle, you know, Wonder Woman 80th anniversary. There's a bunch of other stuff um, I didn't put in here, but uh, it was a very huge day for Warner Brothers for DC. It was um, they there there were things I didn't see that they I thought they would talk about, but. Um, you know, like Green Lantern. Um, I think the they didn't show much on the back girl, they did talk about it. So what we have here is the the Peacemaker uh show. Mm-hmm. We've got mm-hmm. Young Justice uh season four Phantoms. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think they even released the first two episodes. Um oh, you've oh, got oh, the oh, um Gotham Knights video game, you got the that. Suicide Kills, the Justice League uh video game. Mm-hmm. Um, then you've got the big three movies that they talked about. So you've got Black Adam, Mm -hmm. uh, you got the rock up there in the top, right? Uh, two pictures, you know, him floating and him, you know, pulling off the best Mortal Kombat move that Mortal (laughs) Kombat didn't do. (laughs) And, um, then you've got, uh, the flash, you got, uh, Ezra Miller, you got his new costume, which is basically the new 52 costume, right? About time. Um, and it looks sleeker, looks better, and because I'm, I was so sick and tired of that crappy ass costume yes. that he was running in. And please, I hope he changes the way he runs, 
because damn, I can't stand with him throwing his hands to the side. <laughs> Can we just change the actor? <laughs> no. Too late. It's too late, man. Because he not only is he in it once, he's in it yeah. twice. At yes, least, I, saw, I saw that. At least, and I think there might be a third. <laughs> so, um, if you see right there, you've got Michael Keaton's cow. Um, awesome. That gave me the chills. You heard the music in the background. Um, you know, we, it's, it's going to probably be the best moment. I'm glad they didn't show us him, even though I would have liked to see it, but. Right. I'm glad they didn't show give all you know the whole cake away, right? Um, you've got the picture of Ezra Miller in the front, and then you got Ezra Miller on his left, and then you've got the supergirl on his right. Um yeah, well at least either. to the right of us. And and it looks like the Ezra Miller to the back, he has a Batman suit on with the flash symbol on it. And if you had watched the trailer, there was a part where there was blood all over the ground and a, a Batman mask cow all on the ground ripped off. So it looks like he... Um, Red Death. Yeah, he might be Red Death or he could be a, a evil Flash that's, you know, pretending to help them. And uh, who knows? Did it, did it look like anything like... My my logo that I have, you know, that I use for the the comics are great because that's actually from the. Yeah, it comic. looks like it looks like it. Well, everyone, there's leaked pictures of the actual logo. bat symbol with the flash symbol on it. I gotta check it out. Yeah, so there's there's leaked pictures before this even came out, uh, and then of course we had the new. Uh, well, before we get to that, right below the flash, um, uh, is uh the new flash for the tv series that's just going to be his final suit finally got the gold boots oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> awesome. and he, the funny thing is i think he's also going to be in the movie uh, that would be great well that's good they got the right flash then yeah yeah <laughs> well the they're, they're supposed to connect it with the um when the he show. came over to the show right so they're going to connect it back to the movie uh and then you have the batman the batman fi uh, finally showed his second trailer and um, Catwoman looks awesome. Uh, the villains look great. I mean, that Fucking does not look like awesome. killing. I'm so ready know. for the Riddler. The, the yes, Riddler, they even showed the Riddler basically without that mask on, right? He was the guy who got arrested in the coffee shop, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So, I mean, he's that I think it's perfect the way they're playing this. This is a really gritty movie. It was some freaky, like when Batman went to. to beat people up that was some he was some serious uh uh attitude serious uh yeah. you know anger issues <laughs> uh and uh i'm i'm ready these these were some great great, great stuff i like how they left the batman for the very end and that's all people were clamoring about you know like after an hour into dc fandom yep <laughs> Yeah, this yeah. Is, what do you guys think? Anything you guys are excited about? Oh, yeah. I, Batman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, be just maker. <laughs> I'll be honest. I was surprised how good the Batman trailer was. Um, right? right? Yeah, same here. I drink your milkshake. I was pretty much going, oh, fuck this. I got, here's my bottle of Haterade ready to go. Because <laughs> it was Patterson playing him. And I'm just like, other than some of the. the Everybody wants to music hate him. But he can this, actually act. But so, other than some of that annoying yeah. music, where it's like the tun tun, you know the clicking yeah. sound, like bunch of stuff, mm -hmm. which is just won't it's be just the movie. for the trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Uh, I thought it was actually pretty damn good. I was shocked. I mean, um, even like the the gritty like gang villains, you know, like they're just like, yeah. all right, he's got some fodder, you know, like beat up fodder. <laughs> um. The Black Adam trailer, I was underwhelmed with. Yeah, I was like, here. I was like, last year you gave us an anime I was cartoon. Never excited it's, for it. This year you're giving us he shocks someone to. We don't even get to see his face. It's not a trailer, bro. It's just it's a just, fucking but, little. I mean, a but at least trailer, yeah. whatever. Okay, okay. but at least take the off. fucking hood off. It's not even at a least, teaser. At least That's, take the hood off. No, it's no, a scene for the movie. It's but literally after, the after, no, but, no, I, I, I understand what JR is saying. After all this buildup, you know, that that's all they're going to show? I mean, really? You know, I mean, I got, I, 
you know, Gotham I Knights see. was better as far as the build up than than Black well, Adam. Well, why they gotta rush out a trailer? Just let them take their time, let them make well, it no, correctly, but, and we'll watch it when it that, comes out. Okay, that's fine, Rob. But if they would have just at least showed, like, if you would have taken the hood off at the end of it, just show it's a fucking rock. We all that know it's a rock. Liter- to me, I would have liked to have seen just, his face with maybe like lightning in his eyes, you know, and then yeah, lightning just, behind him. That that would have done much better than that. Oh, the hood. Yeah, it it's just, just didn't. A it just was, it's a sample. And last year was a little sample. You gave us a sample last year. Now give us something. S- Give me something this. fucking more this year. Yeah. Well, you gave me a time. video. You gave me a cartoon. It took a year, year. Oh, it's 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 took a year to no, make another not. sample. I mean, really? It's, it's not I get that, it. I get it. I know. It's been a yeah. long time because it feels like 10 years since they got an, that he got announced as Black Adam. I yeah. Guess. But I mean, like last year's was garbage. That cartoon was oh, garbage. That was, well, if, this even, would, if this would have been the first thing we got of it at all, then I'd be like, okay, that's different. But this wasn't. We had the cartoon last year. That's what I'm saying. It's like, okay, you've announced it two years in a row. Put something out there. Put some. At least show us him. They showed him. <laughs> we're, we're getting. They, show, getting they showed us like the Cowboys show up in the playoffs, right? What is that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you don't show up in the playoffs. More than the Raiders. They didn't, sure. they didn't I mean, show him. I, I mean, I got a bigger thrill seeing the other characters than him. And he's supposed to be the, the titular character. Yeah, but it's cool, man. It's just a little sample. We'll, we'll see. No. When it comes out, we'll watch it. We're all going to watch it. I don't know yeah. why we're... Yeah, we're all going to see it. It doesn't yeah, even matter. Yeah. <laughs> we're all going to be there. I mean, laugh that's... if this go if this goes bust. It might. It might. I don't, it might. Might. I don't think it'll go that's, bust. It's... That's not. It won't well, no, go it's bust. Possible. It's the Rock. Everyone loves the and Rock. It's funny, right? Yeah. Uh, it's DC. About a month to a month and a half ago, I was on the New York Warrior show, and we were talking about Black Adam, and I said that I had a feeling that it would go bust, and man, I got hammered. <laughs> I got hey, look, so hammered. anything can happen these days. It's it is yeah. DC, so DC is a 50 50 chance, right? Exactly. At, at this point, 50 50 good movie, right? Yeah. Or, or at least decent movie. Where I can't even say there's been really any good yeah. DC movies. <laughs> I mean, Wonder Woman one, okay, you know, no, I like the first one. The, in, Woman in the Snyder Age, there has not been any good Man, Man of Steel is okay. Man. Wonder Woman's pretty good. First one, yeah. Wonder, Woman, said. Wonder yeah. Woman Part Two is trash, but uh, yeah, that was trash, trash. Yeah. Shazam is a phenomenal movie. Shazam's pretty it good. Took me yeah. good. Like two or three years to see it. It was nice. Aqu- yeah. Aqu- it was Aquaman but, was nice. Yeah. But let's I, be, I like Aquaman. 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 But let's be honest with uh, Wonder, I'm not Wonder Woman. Aquaman. Yeah. Let, let's be honest with Wonder Woman though. We had such. At least I had huge low expectations when I went and saw Wonder Woman because the prior two movies. Fair. I went in there going, "This is going to be garbage," <laughs> and it exceeded my expectations. Yeah, right. but you have to give it a fair shake. It was a, de- it was a pretty good movie. It wasn't like a bad. It wasn't like, oh, no, I like, can't rewatch this. Would you? Yeah. But let me put it this way: if you put it into the Marvel universe of movies, oh, and no. let's just just say the early ones, like not any of these. I can compare it to stuff. Captain America. It's better than Thor Part One. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know about that. It is. I mean, I'm the biggest Thor fan. I can tell you 100. percent Wonder Woman Part One is better than Thor Part One. Yeah, it's arguable. I mean, here because this is what I think. Like, if you're going to compare apples to apples, where you have what the second Wonder Woman movie, they hyped that up. There was so many commercials, a lot of advertisement. Okay, oh, that it was going to yeah. be great. And there was a lot of expectations because the first one did a lot better than what people thought. And what happened? It bombed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And yet you have, you know, a decent actress, a good storyline. just wanted to do it, too much. Yeah. Well, you, you also have to remember on a normal basis, doesn't matter if it's a superhero movie or a regular movie. Right. The second movie is usually worse than the first movie. There's but, a, You can only name like on a hand. Yeah. How many movies are like really better than the first movie, right? Yeah, so oh, no, I yeah. agree with you. 
So know, it's, it's already hard in the first I'm, place. What I'm saying is like so you had was, the hype, gonna... you had the build up and everything, and yeah. I'm you know you had the name power, okay. And yet mm. now you got the rock. They just went over the top with that movie, right? Way and over the top. And they're even doing Avengers... the exact same thing with Black Adam. Even mm. Avengers Two was bad. I mean, compared to the first uh, one, nah, it, was like, not, it was not as it, it was not as good. I would never say it's bad. It was no, something yeah, right. I yes. really, really love. Well, I just, meant, I, I, I just I meant like Pierce it was Brosnan's word over it, everything because he he's worked on James Bond, right? Four right. movies. That's a huge franchise. Huge. Then they don't chip out on money for that movie, right? When they do right, production. Yeah. Okay, so. He's already saying that this is anything like he's ever been a part of. This is grander. But you I, I could think say he, that. I, but I think he's. I think he's saying it, it's. It, it's got a richness to the story as well, and and mm. the fact that if you can put grand and and a rich story together, you can have a good movie. It's not out of the realm that that they can have a good movie. It's it's possible that DC can actually make a good movie. Yeah. I just hope The Rock actually shows up and bothers to act in this movie. Yeah, I think he will. I think Maybe. this is something I mean, he's I'm more passionate about. I'm questioning the storyline because you have, you know, Black Adam with the JSA early on, where right. you know that's really that's not how he shows up. You know, so I, yeah, I agree with that. We used we used see we used to Shazam in the movie at all, and if you don't, then I, I would um you know I, I would when you think about watching DC movies don't. Oh yeah, no. don't even think that the connection DC to the comic movie is its own standalone universe. Too. Which I think sucks. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. It's horrible. Until they get rid of Snyder, yeah. it's going to be that way. I, 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 they have Steve. ability to. That's, to a, that's everything. the rock that you're going to get. The we'll Baywatch rock. <laughs> <laughs> I may be one of the only people, but I felt literally zero excitement when they announced that The Rock was going to be the main character in a superhero movie. I was like, great, another one I'm not no, going to no. see. You know what I well, thought of? Because see, see, for me, since Black Adam was Egy is Egyptian, kind of uh -huh. all I thought of was when he first did the, the Mummy, the second Mummy movie. Oh God! You were thinking about Scorpion King. King? My shit! <laughs> That's all I thought of. You know, I was like that. But the thing is, the Rock looks the like Black Adam. That's huh? it. I mean, that, that's that's a big. But I think also what it was was they were trying to make sure that Marvel doesn't get them because at that time they were going, "Hey, we're yeah. going to sign these people." I think they're people. just hoping enough people just like the Rock that they'll go see this movie yes. because they do yeah. see his shitty movies because they like him as a person. Great right? actor. I mean, like yeah. Jungle WWF. Jungle <laughs> yeah. Trip or whatever that was. Damn, donkey. Look, look. Can you, you can smell say, the Black Adam movie? You, you can say all the shit you want about him. That man makes money. Yes, he does. Oh, I'm sure he's oh, yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes. I money talks, talks all day so, long. He's so fucking <laughs> vanilla of a human being. Yeah. <laughs> like well, that man is just money. boring. Yeah. But it's cheap meals, yeah. He you know? plays the same character always. I'm sure he's a wonderful yeah. person. I'm sure he's a genuinely wonderful person. His fucking but pancakes the job are awesome. He takes, oh, right. I'm never right. excited about. And his, his sushi menu. And I know the man exercises. Yeah. I know he works out. As cookies, but I know that there is no way that your muscles get bigger and better as you get older. That Who does cares? not work. Keep <laughs> pumping <laughs> weights to the rock. Just do you it. Know, man. You know he's doing whatever he can <laughs> to to do it to get a bigger size. Oh, okay. he's, well, he's, those he's in shakes. Who cares though? It's his <laughs> well, body, his choice. That's we'll that's what he gets paid for. for. That's literally what he gets paid for. for Listen, if Christian Bale yeah. can drop like 150 pounds between and gain between roles, and like, oh, yeah, yeah that, that's. Yeah. that's um, Did they're all things about uh, Bell and Bell and We want to, we can finish, get the last part of this going. Yeah. Black yeah. Guy on the greatest movie ever. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> me, me, I love you, me. Oh, Caroline, go ahead and hit us with it, girl. Who's up? Um, yeah, so this is what I do sometimes. <laughs> Um, Jeremy and I are going to be in Baltimore together. We're going to have some pins Hell and stickers yeah. and stuff, and we're going to have some of our um, exclusive cover with us. So come find us, get and some goodies. Oh, one. you mean this one? Oh, you nice. mean this one, Caroline? Oh, that one. Yeah. yeah. You guys support, support. Yeah. Support. The next page. 
and yeah and she will be willing to sign it right yeah we'll sign them for you guys if that's what you want yeah go get yeah. a cgc actually yeah, you can, CBCS. they will witness CBCS. it as we sign it and then you can get it cg well cbcs not cgc yeah. CGC's oh not yeah that's right bam you got late night save them save them Hell yeah <laughs> okay that's it all right and then tomorrow we got fanime talk with eric the phoenix we were going to be going over my hero academia season five this was knuck and futz guys i mean this is where i probably stopped off reading on the manga so i got to get back on and this is perfect for me to leave off on because right now anthony eric and i were talking on monday it's bananas man and bananas is good but uh that's right i'll send you that link mm -hmm. so monday y'all uh, monday tomorrow 5 30 p.m be there, be square, and be ready for us to talk about My Hero Academia Season 5. Ultra! Okay. All right, all right. I think we are done, man. We are done. Yeah. All right, y'all. Well, hey, guys, we want to thank y'all for rolling with us on a Sunday evening for them top picks of the week. We had a great time. With us. Oh, yeah. We had a great time. And then, um, also, man, you know, just be good to everybody. Be supportive. Everybody's shows are coming through, man. There's a lot of work, hard work being put in. And uh, we just want to be supportive of this community, this great community that we're part of. So, and, yeah. Uh, if you uh, see, I imagine if you see Caroline, I could say this, and you see me, say hi to us at Baltimore. Yeah. Come say yeah. hi. Um, yes. I won't yeah. bite. Maybe yeah, Caroline. I was just going to say, he'll Gerald just be an bite. asshole. He'll just be an asshole. I won't I'll be an asshole. asshole. Okay. It's okay. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to be a smack, but you know. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Hey, can can I can I jump on tomorrow? <laughs> oh, dude, yeah, you, dude, you're already in. Just come on in. Is we got my man Geek Driven that's gonna roll with us. My bad, Jeff. My bad. <laughs> yeah. Jeff saw. Jeff saw. Oh, oh, so you trying to do that because I, I was like, you? oh, my bad, dude. No, no, I... you're you're on, bro. You're on. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Uh, uh, also uh, on Tuesday, I'll be on uh, I'll be on Cooks Twenty Four podcast uh, IG Ooh. Live. Oh yeah, nice. so, uh, oh, man. yeah, and uh, and then on what was it next week? Uh, I guess on next weekend I'll be on JD's on Raging Cajun. So Very I've nice. got a busy ass week this week. Hell and then yeah, no show nice. next week. Who's calling? Um. Oh, I think so. Right? We haven't I, decided yet. Is there a Thursday night show? There is a Thursday night know. show. There is yeah, a Thursday yeah. night show. We got Asian yeah. Funk in the building, man. Well, He's going to be coming. So, be here, oh, yeah. So we will be here. We, mm -hmm. we hope you guys have a great time at Baltimore Con. Again, I'm jealous. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys enjoy yeah, yourself. Okay. J JR, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna miss your ass, bro. You know, like, I'm already getting teary-eyed, bro. You, you lion know? ass fool. Don't take time. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, for sure, man. I can't wait. I, I, no, I want pictures. He won't He's oh, just sad he won't get a Philly cheesesteak. He's like, where's yeah. my eye drops? Where's my eye drops? Oh, see J J yeah, JR, JR said, I'm going to hit you with some food pictures. So, you know, that's my, oh, that's my yeah. brother There's right there. Oh, yeah. There's going to be a lot of food pictures, probably. Oh, yes. He's going to be getting, like, many, like, for, oh, I, I hate, fucking hate crab. you. <laughs> I know. Crab, uh, blue crab. Uh, what by else? the way, uh, Dodgers lost. They no! Lost. They, blew, they blew another game in the ninth inning. God damn. Fucking bro. idiots. Mm. Sports. All right. On that note. Yep. <laughs> yeah, on that note, with that being said, man, Anthony, you want to take us out Team Nerd Herd style, brother? Sure. If you want to do it right, collect what you like. All Later. right, y'all. Take it easy. Happy Sunday. Much love.